Alright, good morning gamers, welcome, welcome, congrats on redeeming first for the very first time today, Fables, stealing it from Davey, nice, very nicely done, and uh, yeah, welcome, 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 uh, hello there Yinken, hello there Davey, and uh, Anyone else who might be lurking about or checking out the vlog later. Hope you guys are all having a great uh, weekend so far. And uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about yesterday. I I couldn't um, I couldn't. Well, I, I got up, but <laughs> I, it was pretty pretty late by the time I I I was uh, I got everything ready and I uh, figured. Might as well take the the day off from from streaming to do some prep for SDS and did my run. Uh, I think around the time when maybe like uh, I think like noon noon to like 1 p.m. ish my time. Nice, you still haven't changed your name back. Oh yes, I I haven't changed it yet. Um, I I I I usually change my name to Kieran. And I also used the uh, the game setting for 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 for, for SD, um, just so that uh, I don't know who I'm playing and 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 people don't know who they're playing, so they can't uh, they can't <laughs> they can't make a video and be like, oh hey, I was fighting so and so, blah blah blah, or yeah, I I I. I I just prefer it that way. 
So. Yeah, I haven't uh, changed my name back yet, but uh, it's okay. It's not a big deal. But, um, yeah, how, how's, uh, how's everyone doing today? I had a pretty nice, uh, I guess, <laughs> day off from streaming yesterday. Uh, SD actually went pretty, pretty well. Um, I'll show some of the replays, and uh, I know a couple of you guys here also hit rank 1. If you guys have any uh, good replays to share, definitely please do so. Um, I uh, I found some, I, I was watching, uh, I don't remember his name, but I did, uh, ooh, bye bye bot. Looks like Nightbot. Um, is is putting in work because it um, it just automatically zaps the bots for me. You guys don't even see the message because um, the the message is automatically held because it's trying to promote. It wants me to buy the best viewers from this this very suspicious link, but. Uh, we all know the uh, the best viewers are here already, right? You got a very funny one. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I didn't I didn't play any particularly. Uh, most of my most of the people I played, I think they were below below like six k. So did did bully a bit, but I think a couple of matches were were kind of interesting. But um. Uh, yesterday, I I don't know how I came across it, but uh, I think Davy, you might know you know what you might know what I'm talking about. But I stumbled across an old TVB show that I watched when I was a kid, and I remember my aunt. Uh, keep 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 this discussion here, guys. My my aunt used to like borrow like DVDs, and she would like record them. And, um, so one of the shows that I, I watched when I was a kid, it was called Gung Si Doujang. Uh, the English name for it is Vampire Expert. Uh, it featured uh, an actor who, who passed away uh, many, many years ago. His name is Lam Jingying. And he was, like, very, very well known for, for doing the, the, um... The, the Chinese vampire theme type movie and eventually he he did like a TV show and like if you see him like any any like Asian people who, who sees his face or anything they will instantly know who he is and what he is is known for but sadly he passed away I think uh, before the 2000s um, from liver cancer if I, if I remember correctly. So, kind of explains why why that sort of genre of TV show slash movie kind of kind of died off. Um, kind of sad, but um, I I ended up watching uh, a bit of that yesterday. Gongsi Dojo is 1995. Yeah, I think he passed away. Let me let me take a look. I think he. I think he passed away in 1997, I want to say. Let me look that up really quickly. November 8th, 1997 is uh, when he passed away. So, I guess that was one of the last projects that he, he worked on. Last uh, things he worked on before he, he passed away. Uh, hello there, Yuka. Good morning, or uh, I guess good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I was just talking about uh, my uh, my day off from streaming yesterday, and I was watching an old uh, television show that I, I watched when I was a kid, and it's it's amazing. I I, I remember I really liked it when I was a kid, but. I don't remember anything about it, except the uh, the the theme song for 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 that show. Um, apparently, I was I was talking to my aunt about it. She she came over yesterday, 
And she said like the theme song is actually a Japanese uh, song. I looked it up. It was called uh, Kodzure Okami. Lone Wolf something something and Cub. And when they did the TV show, I guess they, they did like a Chinese version of the song, which is, uh, which is uh, very, very memorable to me. Because I, I, I loved watching that, that type of show when I was a kid, and the, uh, the song was very, very memorable for me. Unfortunately, I'm not going to sing it for you, because you guys, uh, you guys will... I'm, 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 I'm sparing your ears. You guys might uh, bleed from your ears if I, <laughs> if I uh, start singing the song. Not that I, know, I, not that I would know how to, how to sing it. Uh, it's kind of inspired by that and it is really good too. I, I've, I think I've watched it. Um, I think I remember the actress was like very pretty in that show. Um, I actually don't know how to read the second last character, but I can read everything else. So I, I think I know. <laughs> I, I think I know what... Uh, what 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 you are saying there? I might uh, I might I might end up watching that as well afterwards. I might watch that afterwards. But yeah, I remember the actress was like very very pretty in that uh, that show that you can mention. Anyways. <laughs> That that's this is not why we're here. We're not we're not here for for Gongsi's. Gongsi is a uh, Chinese vampire. They're they like to like hop around. Yeah, they, they also like to like suck blood. And yeah, you, you also get turned into a Chinese vampire if they if you get bit. So. Anyways, anyways, um, we're here for some heroes. We are here for some heroes, and, 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 uh, let's take a quick look at the notification board. I'm not gonna go through, through everything, but, um, if you were affected by the Aether Raid cap, so if you fell, if you fell a tier, or sorry, if you fell out of vault, um, they sent a compensation for basically everyone who was affected by the, the cap. Um, if you actually dropped out of the vault, they would have given you two golden chairs. Um, for some players, yes. For some players who, like for like myself, uh, were able to stay last season, um, we got a measly 10 grails, I believe. Um, I, I heard some people say that if you click accept, it'll actually show you all of the rewards cuz uh, apparently reward uh, compensations or sorry gifts that are given to you directly by customer service they get like packaged together so unless you like click accept it won't show you like everything so i'm not sure if i got anything else except for the 10 grills but i i i only saw the 10 grills and i was i was like what really <laughs> really 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 I, I almost kind of wish that they they screwed up and they accidentally give it. They also like they accidentally gave us uh, uh, red chairs as well, so that I I have like two more than everybody else with uh, with like the perfect record in in Aether raids. But uh, they they didn't make, make that mistake, unfortunately. They did not make the mistake. So I don't think anyone here fell out of uh, the vault, right? So, so you probably didn't get the the two bonus, uh, not bonus, but the, the two red chairs that you would have uh, missed out um, from dropping out and also not being in the vault uh, this this season. Uh, it is now possible to have more red chairs than blue and green. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm curious if if some people end up uh, complaining to to IS, um, because 
Yeah, like if you if you have like matching number of red, blue, and green chairs, the the compensation only gives you red chairs. So I feel like some people will likely complain to to get their their blue and green chairs as well. So if you if you know anyone who 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 is gonna do that, I'm curious if uh, I'm sure IS will 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 be understanding and, and give out the blue and green chairs as well. But I'm sure I'm surprised that it wasn't just packaged together. You know what I mean? Seems that they can't solve the cap problem in any time soon. I mean, I I I, I think the way they're rolling it out is just really weird. They, they should have just told us upgrade our, our buildings. It's not like we're short on stones, aether stones, or or do for that matter, so... That uh, seems to be the, the logical way to do it, but instead they're just like automatically increasing, and I think that's probably why they're they're having the, uh, the problem right now. Uh, you'll have one extra golden chair than other max air people now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wait, can you? No, I don't think you can, in Ken. Oh, I think I, I think I know what you mean. Like right now, if you look at the number of chairs, because you got two, you you technically have one more than other people right now. But come next season, uh, everything will everything will, will will fall back in place. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering, I was wondering what you mean, but yeah. People should take a picture of that before, before the next season, just so that they can, they can gloat about it, All right? There's probably some spaghetti where if you upgrade the Aether Fountain, you start at 400 rather than 250. Maybe, maybe. Anyways, I'm not the, I'm not, I'm not on the dev team, I don't, I don't, do any of the coding, so I have no idea what exactly is the problem. Um, it's just weird. The like visually, it shows that it's 400, but behind the scenes, the the cap is still still 250, which just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, we have a couple revival banners, so we'll do that. Uh, we also have the um, uh. The arena tickets, so cut that as well. Uh, this is actually not one of the revivals. This is Heroes of Spur skills. Um, don't need any of them, so we'll, we'll pick whatever we're given. Uh, Hollow Forms started yesterday. Um, I think I'm gonna pick up Tina and Lara from this batch. Um, Unfortunately, I'm not getting very good luck with uh, finding exactly what I want for for them. But if I can finish them up, I might do Nana as well. But um, I feel like I'm I'm gonna give if I'm gonna upgrade her, I, I want her to have shift, shadow shift, the uh, the new skill from Reagan. But it's not available in Hollow Forms, so. I feel like I'm not gonna prioritize her because if I give her shift, I'm probably gonna give her something else as well. So, uh, and then we have uh, the not a tune. This is the rearmed Reinhardt. So, unless you want to screw over your your fatter uh sorry, your fodder factory. Uh, I, I, I don't know why anyone would would pick him up. And moreover, I don't know why Ice hasn't changed it yet. There's like no incentive to pick him up at all. Unless, unless uh, I guess if you're FTP and, and you just don't have him yet, and you want to have him, I suppose that's a good reason to pick him up. But it's kind of, uh, kind of silly. Not a build, Ruptured Sky, Verge of Death, ES Ruse 4, and Incite. Attack speed. Nice. Nice, nice. 
Shadow Shift is really good on a Tune to Zero. Yeah, I saw, so I was watching, um, the other day I was watching someone play SDS, and, and I forget, um, she was using, he, he or she, they were, they were using, um, a t uh, Tune to Zero with, uh, Aided Reagan. And so basically, you get to repo Reagan for free after a dance, and Reagan all of a sudden has four move. So you get to cover like a lot of ground with, uh, with Shadow Shift. I've seen some people also give it to Elamine. Sorry, Elamine. Um, Elamine, her her C skill is her preference C skill is like super super outdated. So I think some people are, are temporarily, <laughs> they're temporarily giving her shift before she gets her remix so that uh, she's she's a bit more useful. Also, hey there, Arena Bro, welcome. I don't want this holo form at all. I think I think Tina, Tina has like a lot of value. If you don't have her, I think she's great. And also, oh my goodness, thank you for the prime sub, Seiya. The gift of sub. Thank you, thank you. 12 months! Thank you so much for one year. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, I'm curious uh, who you guys are going to pick from, from this one. Uh, I was just saying, I, I think I'm going to do Tina and Lara. Uh, and maybe Nana if, uh, if I can finish those two buttheads first. But... Reinhardt, big skip. Big skip. It was really great though for for clearing the the mode. Very very good. Hother seal is easily best in slot, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Would have gone for Tina if Kanto Curb was on Hollow Forms. Yeah, yeah. Too bad. Too bad it's not. Unfortunately, it's not. But it's not. It's not a big deal. Because I, I doubt you'll use her in SD anyways. And Kanto Control 3 is like perfectly fine if you plan to use her in in um, in AR. So it's not a it's not a deal breaker, I'd say. I, I would have loved Kanto Curb as well for her, but sadly it is not in. It is not in. Uh, Lara I want to pick up just because uh, I like Lara in uh, in Thracia. She is great. She tricked me. <laughs> she tricked me. Uh, I guess a bit of a spoiler alert. When I say tricked, I, I was not- it was, it was technically not tricked, but I used a promotion seal on her. On the chapter where she class changes into a dancer via the story. So I, I had turned her from like a thief to... was it like an assassin? I forget the, the class names, but I, I used a promotion seal on her. And then at the end of the chapter, she was like, oh no, I want to turn into a dancer now. So so she wasted one of my <laughs> my, my promotion seals. But yeah, Lara, Lara's uh, super cute. I, I didn't expect her to have like a six pack. Uh, but I guess I guess it kind of makes sense. She's like a good dancer, and and maybe she works out a lot. But uh, she is she is pretty cute. I already created my best. Uh, I already created the best Reinhardt myself. Nice, nice, nice. What kind of Reinhardt? Is this uh, the OG, or are you talking about your your rearmed? He's actually quite interesting. Um, I think. Wanda was the first one who, who, who I heard it from, but maybe he he heard it from someone else. But he can get like a lot of true damage in his brave attacks, um, especially if you switch him to Arcane Plumeria's weapon. And then you can either use Resonance or you can even do a Cult of Strike. And because his brave effects is in his preference A. You can quad you with a lot, a lot of true damage. But then Ike will just shrug it off. <laughs> He'll just shrug it off. 
Uh, anyways, uh, bonus heroes for next week. So the Disney on Ice units are going to be bonus. Kronia's bonus. Uh, and I believe this season is like perfect for... for this is like the, the, the ideal bonus season for, for Yuka. Because uh, he's got a super decked out Tiki. Uh, Ophelia is also bonus, so you can probably use her AoE down the the enemy team. Yeah, your time has indeed come. Has indeed come. Uh, special heroes revival sign of twelve. Nothing to talk about there. Uh, this holoform has ended. I've picked up Anna so far. Um, I haven't I haven't done Tharja yet. I'm not sure if I want to. Even though I, I kind of have her built, I'm not sure if I want to. Uh, I'll probably sit on this for a bit. So I didn't pick up uh, anyone else aside from Anna for now. Uh, Summoning Duels S has started. Well, it technically started a couple of days ago. Uh, I did my runs yesterday, and uh, if we have time, I can show off some of them. I, I kind of borrowed some some tech that I saw someone else use, and it was super super effective. I I don't think uh, people were really prepared for for it, so. It's kind of able to to run away with it. I don't know if that's the the right saying, but kind of it was a pretty smooth run. Let's let's just say that. Thank you for the uh, dueling crest redemption, Ian Ken. I'll take a look at that in just a sec. Uh, we got uh, Marnie, 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 because. Because, 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 we got a, uh, a Psalm Banner. Finally, finally, we got a Psalm Banner and a new type of hero, Aided Reagan. So if you get them, you'll be able to pick up an Aided Essence, and that's basically a free plus one to all your stats. And you can then equip Aided Accessories. Uh, the interesting thing is that you can equip any future Aided Accessory, as long as you've given the Essence to someone. So, I think I've only given it to one unit so far. Uh, and it was because uh, someone is asking me to update my my lead unit for Ponzaloki, which is tomorrow. So, 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 I gave her the, uh, the Eight of Essence. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about, so, yeah. This is the... This is my very first, uh, very first unit that I gave uh, AIDS Essence to. My New Year's Kavasir. Um, I updated her kit a little bit. I gave her G Duel Infantry for the HP and some stats. And I learned something new yesterday. Apparently, you shouldn't like if you're if you're if you're setting up a unit. For Ponzaloki, for your for for your friends to pick up, or to use, um, you shouldn't use the squad ace seals because apparently the SP for those seals are are too high, and so if if the unit is like low level, they end up not equipping the seal until until they get to a certain level. So um, you you need to. Ideally, give them just the, the HP five seal. Uh, I don't use accessories for my heroes, Yinken. I generally do not use accessories because um, if I use accessories, then it messes up with the way my with the way my heroes appear here. So you see how everyone has like nice clean borders? And that's because I sort them up by accessory. If I do rarity, then everyone has the, the little stars, right? If I do accessory, it's it's like a very, very clean border. However, if I equip an accessory, for example, give her heart eyes. 
then my nice borders suddenly become not so nice. They, they have that little pink icon at the bottom, so... So no accessories. <laughs> no accessories for me. It's not like the accessory gives you the stats, luckily. Otherwise I, I'd be forced to use the accessories and I'd be very very sad. If that was the case. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, I have uh, my my Kavas here with an updated kit for for Ponza Loki's. So if you guys uh, need her, you can you can pick her up to to use. Starting up uh, tomorrow, so yeah. Uh, SDS SDR dynamics change so fast. Yeah. The, the meta the meta changes with like every almost like every new banner that comes out just before SD S and SDR. Um, example, Felix came out and he was kind of dominating. And I think in this SD event, I don't think there's any uh, there's no particularly dominant unit, but but, but, but I've seen some very creative use of Shadow Shift. Um, I've seen Felix wasn't as as bad this time around uh, because of the Captain skill. So the Captain skill for this time around is impregnable, and so what that means is that you can technically run double saves on on all your teams if you want. I, I, I actually didn't ban him because he, like if you have like a double save team, Felix can't exactly, <laughs> he can't really take down your, your near savior. If you have like a good near savior, he can't, he can't really take him down. So, yeah, I'll show you guys the, uh, the replays in a bit. Um, I know, I know a couple of you guys shared, shared some. Saw some. I saw one from Yinken. I saw one from Yuka as well. By the way, I did ex uh, some extra summons for the new banner. 194 summons targeting blue. 3 plus 1 Reagan. 7 plus 1 Tamara. Uh, 1 Marin. 1 Fallen Minion. 1 uh, Sended Ishtar. Brave Alphonse. Brave Bernie. And Nail Alir. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. 8.25%. That's, uh. That sounded like you did really well, because it's a 3% banner. So... Very, very nice. Opa, uh, if you guys did summon on the banner, hope you guys did as well. Um, was I going to say something else? Or, I was going to say something else and I forgot. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. Uh, let's actually take a look at uh, the replays really quickly. Look at the replays from 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 from. From Yinken and Yuka. Okay, so T eight. H F L W V H and U. All right. Hope you are here, Yun Ken. Hope you are here. So okay, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's really funny what you can do this week with um, with impregnable, because I'm seeing a near savior here, but they're not running near save because they don't need it. They they can just run impregnable to 
to to get the near saves, so they're very scary. It's not funny. Did I say it was funny? It, it, I, I think it's actually kind of scary. Um, the only one saving grace is that Impregnable doesn't proc until turn 2. So, if you can somehow rush your opponent on turn 1, then you're... That's probably like one of the, 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 the bigger weaknesses of, of Impregnable. Can have two saves, but Impregnable makes it possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wish this showed you. Okay, I kind of wish this also showed you like what teams. What were the teams before you you started the battle, so that you can see? Oh, how did how did how did uh, Yinkin veto, and how did how did uh, his opponent also veto? Um, but I don't think this is looking pretty good for your opponent. Because I don't think they can... ...kill anything on your team. I think I would have banned this team if I saw this. Yinken. <laughs> I would have I would have banned it because Makaya... And also, I think Fjorm was also someone I was looking out for as well. Because she, she can be very, very tough to take down. Make a prediction. Can the enemy deal one damage? I think they can. Sure. Let's, uh... Let's do a very quick prediction. I think, I think Yinkin, you shouldn't, you shouldn't vote in this one because you know. Can the enemy do one damage to Kin's team? Yes, no. Alright, you got your wish, Yuka. People can run Embla, steal buffs, so it's far from invincible. It might not work this time. Right, but like when you're when you're um when you're vetoing teams, you can look out for those units. Like if you only run double save teams, you just ban the ones that that have Embla, ban the teams that have. Um, uh, I've seen Loki used as well, uh, Mythic Loki. She can potentially screw you over if you run like a lot of uh, status effects, but. Gonna be more not not as a reliable way to inflict um, undefended. Okay, I only want I only saw one person vote, but let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yep, curb. Ooh, no curb. <laughs> I was gonna say it's it's still a pretty rare skill to see in in SD, cause you really don't get too much out of curb. Like the tier four and tier three. Tier 3 is like still usable, very very usable, and curb, f curb, curb just gives you that added protection against this, but he's not scary at all. I, I doubt he can even do any damage to, to Fjorm. I guess we'll see. Let's give it! Oh! 
Who said no? <laughs> Yinkin said no. Thank you for your points. Thank you for your 79 points, Yuka. He actually took out a unit. I was just looking down at my feet and my dog was in my room, snuck in here. Snuck into my room. I guess the the color advantage probably gave him just that extra bit of damage to be able to do like one damage. Oh, we'll get wrecked. Get wrecked. Score is tied right now, but your opponent gave up. They gave up. Yeah, I think they were kind of screwed. Kind of screwed here. They couldn't even attack into Fjorm safely because of the the NCD in her weapon. But, 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 but. I think they, 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 they play that as, as good as they can. They locked you down on turn two. Was able, was able to sneak behind for a kill. But Celica is like not scary at all. She is, she is not scary at all. It looks scary because she she has that like huge range, but you kind of need to like send her in. She might kill something and then she like dies. So trade trade's not worth it. And because everyone's like running double save, it's it's even less. She's like less, even less good. An Emblem player actually played into my 2x save team. They couldn't deal damage. Ooh. I guess it depends what they, they were using, right? Depends what they were using. Alright, let's take a look at Yuka's replay. FWR. I think it depends on the mode, Fables. Um, I don't think he plays a lot of SD. I have my friends this, and most seasons I think he just does like his. He does like a one and done kind of thing, so I don't know that he. He is really speaking from like an SD perspective. But in AR, I can see her being. Kind. Not, not necessarily like tier 0 nuke. Um, like in Chaos Season, when you don't have like bonus stats and stuff like that, Celica can be can hit quite hard. So let's repeat the prediction. This match is depressing. Oh. Okay, so this this is a replay from Yuka. Yeah. 
I like that you're using your tiki. Very nice. Optimal setup. <laughs> Optimal setup build. Okay, let's do another prediction. Will the enemy do any damage to Yuka's units? Yes. No. Oh. My Paul was like one character too long. I remember one time, I think Mr. Vol showed us a SD replay. He had like nothing on his set except for Spear of Assal. Assault. However you want to pronounce it. And it 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 works. <laughs> it works. That's that's really all you need. That's really all you need. Uh, I can't I can't vote in this poll, but I would say no. I don't want to influence you guys, but I don't think they can do any damage to you. Davy says yes. Okay. Let's uh let's get it going. Wait, what? Did you just end turn? I saw them move like five times and you didn't even move once. Smiley face. Gotta do damage, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Maybe. Does that count as damage? Seven pre combat. I'll give it a try. He healed it back up, but he did do damage. I trained for this. Train for this, guys. All right, I'm not gonna count that as damage. So. Congrats, people who voted no. That that was indeed quite sad. Very very bully. Very very bully. Probably could just end turn four times and kill something turn five. Yeah, that was a very very thick team. I was just surprised that you didn't even do anything. Almost like you were BMing them. Let's see. Might as well go for the ultimate BM. But that that reflects poorly on you, right?
Okay, so this is a replay from Davey. Here. I didn't see who the- uh, oops. I didn't see who the player was, but this is a very common uh, copy pasta team. Soren, Micaiah, Sedith, and then basically two units who acts as the savior. So in this case, Amir's the far save, and Saros is the is the near save. I've I've seen a few people who use Saros in in SD. Not like convinced she's she's super super good, but the people who do use her have like pretty good success of her. So. Bimer. Is this... Is this... Ooh. Yeah, I think she... No hesitation. I, I think she's dead. So here I think you need you need to get off you need to attack someone steal their their assigned decoy in order to win. That's basically what I'm seeing here. Your your win con is you need to attack into them. Of what? I trained for this. Oh, bye bye. Saw Felix. We will lose. I need to I need to remember that her button is actually kind of good. There are a few times I lost in the past because I, I keep forgetting that this gives you uh dual strike. It's basically triangle attack, but you only need to be next to someone with dual strike. But kinda looks like you're in a good spot. Saw Felix. And just give up. Not <laughs> It's over for them. You think this is a game? Miss Heat, be strong. Most investment, my Saros house is HP five and infantry pulse three. Leave my sight. I've definitely seen some Catria balls. A few people bring Catria balls 
this season, and also Cordelia balls as well. They're very good. Okay, got one more from Davy. Let's take a look. Let's see. W Y. Shijima, Shijima no something something. Okay, so this is the same team, or you're using the same team. Oops. Alright, I don't know about this. Hey, were you- <laughs> did, did, did you play Yuka by any chance? Got another, uh, pretty poggers tiki here. Uh, this, this almost feels like they're putting all their marbles in, in just one unit. If tiki dies, I think this is, like, over for them. What did you change your IVs to, Yuka? You you don't get the kill here, right, Davy? She almost matches your speed. Like, visibly, she almost matches your speed. Kinda- I kinda doubt you get the kill. I think you're- you're- yeah. Oh, you can kill? Oh, wow. <laughs> Rift- Rift Tiki. I was gonna say, you can't- if you can kill, you still have to worry about Ursula just killing you back, so... Don't wanna... lose your... your melee nuke so soon. Want to play? Felix bad or Tiki good moment? I think, uh... neither of those. Oh. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Leave my sight. I I find it like very funny that I don't know. I I, I don't like how she did like zero damage there. That's just how extreme Faye has become. You do like hundreds of damage, they do zero back. But yeah, I think you, you were basically waiting for them to move their Ursula and then Felix can kind of go, go to town on them. Yeah, it's a tiki, tiki bad moment. Tiki bad moment. Did so much testing of her, and nothing. <laughs> nothing works. I take it nothing works. Even Max invests glaciers barely kills Felix. I, I think you. I think you want to hit him without a special, right? If you want to do as much damage as you can. Because you don't want his gust to proc. I don't know that you can you can do that. 
Just wait until Felix players opt into res. Yeah, plus speed, plus res, right? No special, she just loses. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I'm I'm surprised some people aren't do impregnable. This, that just seems to be the way this season. In a way, I'm kind of glad that they 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 have this rule where you can only use one save in uh, in in SD, as otherwise, like if if. If you play it this season, you'll know how annoying it can be. If your opponent's running impregnable with, with another save. It's just not fun. <laughs> and then if your opponent's not running impregnable, you kind of just run over them. Flash of Steel is also good. I don't think I saw Flash of Steel though. Maybe some people used it, but I, I did not use it. Captain initiates combat. Cop Captain can make a follow-up attack before foe can counterattack. And you grant Canto. Or not Canto, uh, Tempo to yourself and your allies. I use Flash of Steel in Team 1. Nice. It, it would be nice if they did show you, like, the... your opponent's team. When you... in the replays, just to see... what kind of teams your opponent's built. And how, how you guys... band each other. Okay, uh, thank you guys for sharing those replays. Uh, I'll share a couple of mines uh, maybe after AR. Um, let's do holoforms. Let's do holoforms really quickly. So here's my Tina. Um, I'm trying to look for the Grand Scratcher on her, or for her. Uh, and I might change out the C skill to I, th I think Breath of Life is like perfectly fine, but um, I think Infantry NFU would be my ideal C slot. Where's Magic Shield? I already gave her Magic Shield, so what she has right now, Return, Return Plus, and Holy Panic, those are skills that she doesn't have. But I already gave her magic shield, and she already has like holy, holy light, lights of strength, and the other healer special. I forget what it's called. Right, what's your opinion on Tamara as a unit? She did kind of dies in my experience. I mean, it depends on the matchup. Uh, I did use her as an impregnable unit this season. Um, I think she's okay. It's not uh, like Ike, Ike level of, of insanity. Like you, you probably won't be able to use Tamara as an Omni tank. Like you can use Ike in AR in SD. There, there's so many matchups to to look out for. It's it's hard to be like top dog near save. But she's a very funny unit. She'll like hit you for zero and then her special procs and then she'll like blow you up. But I think she's okay. I think she's okay. I think the other thing to to note is that in SD you don't technically play like everyone. You only play against a small subset of players. Um, 
against some of the other top ranked players or the other players who did like even more prep. They they might have like yeah, uh, uh, sorry, I guess what I was going to say was it also depends on the support too. But anyways, anyways. Uh, here's my Tina, and here is my Lara. Um, still looking for quite a lot of stuff for Lara, but I'm going to do Tina first. For the future. Let's do Tina first. As you command. Okay, let's see if Reinhardt dies here, because Camilla does hit pretty hard. Oh wow. Reinhardt, you suck. <laughs> Uh, that was kind of sad. I will give it my sure. Are you sure? Oh, I accidentally gave Nana a kill. So she has the farmer's tool. I will give it my all. She's a farmer. Heading out. Any staff you're looking for? I'm looking for Grand Scratcher. Um, for the most part, you're probably just going to use her Thief Staff, but I think the Grand Scratcher is probably the next best staff you can give her. Like, you can change her role to be, oh, give everyone a special, special charge. Cause you know how the thief staff doesn't work in SD, so if you really want to use Tina, you can at least do that for her. I call thunder. Wait, what? Which way? You got it. Your orders. I understand. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the guided as well. Heading out. I will give it my all. Sure. Wait, what? Very well, straight up better. Yeah. yeah. Yay, she's plus ten. Leave it to me. You got it. I can do it. Heading out. Leave it to me. Watch him die to like a zombie or something. Sure? I'm gonna die to zombie, right? Okay, that was kind of sad. <laughs> that was kind of sad. I understand. Which way? I will give it my all. Your orders. As you command. Sure. Your orders. Uh, overall, I think this um this. Holoforms was kind of easy, despite, despite, I, uh, I was only leveling up Tina and, or I was only giving skills to Tina and, and Lara, but they were able to get the job done. So nothing changed today for these two buttheads. Uh, like I said, just looking for 
Grand Scratcher and maybe an Infantry and a few. I'm okay with Breath of Life though. It's it's perfectly fine. Still think it should have been like a healer exclusive skill, but now everyone can be a healer. I honestly don't know what I'm doing with uh, Lara, so it is what it is. Okay, ready that does. And uh, let's do the free summons before we jump into 8R. Free summons, free summons. Uh, I guess we only, only we can only do colorless here. All right, left or right? Uh, sorry, left or right colorless. Hey, thank you for the unit review redemption. H C M K. Always bottom left. Tana. Sorry, not Tanya. Tanya. Hey, watch it. Pick on me and I'll make you regret it. My Tanya was pretty good in my FE five playthrough. Although Ronin was uh, was the real star. Uh, let's do colorless again. I wouldn't mind more G feuds. You have nothing, and you also have nothing. Do I not have you added, HCMK? I sort of had you added. Uh, let's do top. Oh, top. <laughs> I read your mind, Favels. And... We got Lucius. His silhouette makes me think it's a 5 star. Because it's still kind of new in my head. Let's do green. I formed an Ocean, and he's not plus 10 yet, so we're gonna do green here. Raven. Raven, Raven, Raven. I feel like Raven... I'm surprised he's not as popular as... as I th think he is. Do should we do colorless? Or do we go for head pats? Let's go for head pats. We deserve a busted Raven alt. I I also feel like We should get one too. I did not free pull Valoria today. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's do bottom left. As usual. Oh, too late. <laughs> too late. Should have went bottom right. Not even four star. What is this? What is this? All right, give me a green. All right. Somebody pick a green orb. Looking for the Garrick. 
And I guess Ocean now, because I would mind a merge on him as well. Did you guys get any uh, freebies today from the free pulse? Quite a lot of them. Including the revivals and the skill focus. We got free four pulse today. If we can unite behind a purpose, we can overcome any obstacle. There is no truth more wonderful. Oh, Makai. I am Queen Micaiah, 15th ruler of Dane. It is a pleasure to meet you. I I, I kind of want um, another Yoon alt. Because I love the VA for, for Yoon. She does the perfect job. She does like, she did a really, really good job at, at making her sound. Sound what? Hmm. Like, she sounds very, uh... Bored? She sounds like a god, but she sounds very bored and she- The thing she says is just hilarious. In my mind, it's hilarious. And... I think we need another Yoon ult. We have too many Makayas. Give us a- give us a Yoon ult next, please. Oh, yes. Soth is my constant companion. Even in times of trouble. Thanks to him, I know I'm safe. That would be pretty cool if we did get a Yoon accessory, but then, uh, but then Makai would have like two Yoons, right? If you give the Aided Essence to any of the Makayas that have a Yoon, like a little birdie, you'll you'll have two Yoons, and that that that's a no go, <laughs> no go. Still hoping for Sh Ashinera to be added. She was only mentioned in the story, right? You never really get to see her, or like she doesn't do much in the in the game. Aided Mickey giving you an A. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty cool, though, if they did add her. She'd be like the perfect being, right? She is both chaos and order. Basically, before they she splits into her two personalities, right? Okay, so defense this week has been looking pretty good. Uh, I actually, I technically lost. I I technically lost in one of these. But they they decided to spare me. You can you can you can see which one it is, right? You can see which replay is the one where I was spared. If you can't see it, then we'll see it in just a sec. Uh, then we have Makaya with Yoon, Yoon Accessory, and Yoon Aid. That would be funny. There's gonna be so few non OC Mythics added every year now. Mm -hmm. By the way, we're getting pretty close to the Emblem Banner. Which is... When is it? Emblem, Emblem. Oh, I didn't even update the calendar. <clears throat> I want to say it's on the 28th. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but... I'm just going to take a look at the calendar really quickly. Because I want to know when the emblem banner is. Oh, wow. It's actually on the 27th. That's really early. 27. So, trailer on Wednesday night. 
and then banner on the 27th, so Friday night. For me. It's probably uh, Saturday morning for, for you, Davey. Uh, if I if I had to guess, yeah, I would I would probably also say Sigur. Although it almost feels like if if it is Sigur, like all he's gonna do is just give you extra movement and maybe immunity to to gravity effect. That doesn't sound all that OP in in this meta. It it doesn't sound very OP. Celica as a unit can be kind of scary, but her ring effect is is what is what makes her super super good, right? Or it makes any of your unit really really good. Lets them do things that they just wouldn't be able to do beforehand. Plus one movement. I don't see that being very OP, so I don't know what they can do. Maybe anti canto control. Oh, that'd be nice. That would be nice. Lin is coming. We'll see. Uh, regardless, I think it's likely going to be a blue unit, because um, 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 hey, how's it going, Sinful? Thank you for the S rank redemption and also petting and feeding Sami. Um, if anyone missed out on getting Celica. Um, this will be a really good chance to pick up Celica and probably the new, the new emblem. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you doing? How are you doing? I went out for a walk this morning, even though it looked like it was gonna rain. Luckily it didn't. And, uh, now it's starting to warm up. My room's getting pretty hot. <laughs> But I uh, hope you're doing well, Sinful. I hope you're doing well. Just woke up, nice. It's always nice to sleep in on the weekends. Okay, so first opponent here, Altina, Hortensia, Naga, Sather, Lucina, and Robin. Uh, I did make some changes to my team this week. Been busy, nice. Nice, nice. Busy is good. Uh, I did make some changes to this team, um, because uh, Embla, I don't have like a mythic Embla. There's no mythic Embla in in Astra Animus season. Um, I ended up putting my Bridal Embla on the team, and this is mostly just to screw over the the. Um, the, the far saves and maybe maybe near save. Uh, I've got Hathorn, Mirabilis as my mythics, and Embla. I replaced uh, Micaiah. Um, I couldn't I couldn't really think who else to replace on this team. Like if I got get rid of Gatekeeper, I think I would have gotten s s Ruffle Stomp by by Felix. So I, I had to keep him. And so Makai was like the, the weakest link for, for this team. Disperse. Robin no AC seal? Really? I didn't even pay attention. Oh wow. Nice IVs though. Plus speed. Plus speed, plus speed. Also, everyone's running, uh, everyone's running Celica Ring Felix on defense, so I gotta, I gotta do the same. 
<laughs> I gotta do the same. Hey, welcome, Nella. I remember when all you needed to win was a Vantage Altina. Nope. Not anymore. You're suspicious. Yeah, I didn't even notice it too, but Forgive me. I guess we did steal her dragon effectiveness. Um, I I really like um. I mean, we we all know how busted Hatrin is, but the 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 additional effect here. So if you use an assist or rally, you get like an extra movement out of it. Uh, I, I get a lot of extra kills that way. I was running rallies on, on my light version of this team, but I switched it all to like positionals for, for this season. It is, it is bullying. It is bullying. FE8 song? Nice. Yeah, like I said, if I didn't have Gatekeeper, I think, I think... I would definitely have lost some lift this week. Sather, Altina, Plume, Shez, Felix, and Celica. This is actually a pretty nice comp if you can get your Felix in. It's like free warps. Free warps on your units. I absolutely love how I... <laughs> the extra movement just gets me free wins. Everyone. Every week, there's at least like... Two or three players who just... Don't remember the, the plus one movement from Igren. I, only I know there's like a lot of effects in the game and I, I certainly don't remember... Every effect. But some units you just know, right? You, you should kind of know. Like if if any if if you don't if 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 you only remember one thing about Nurgle, it's that he he steals status effects. Embla, she inflicts undefended and feud. Gatekeeper, he blocks warping. Igren, it should be that it gives your infantry is plus one move. Like there's so much else extra stuff that he she does here, but. The uh, plus one move, and I guess the unhindered status, right? Yeah, the unhindered status as well. But I love it. Free wins. <laughs> Free wins. Okay, so this one, this one, this one, is a very, 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 very nicely... You'll, you'll see, you'll see what they did. I, I was, I was amazed. I should have lost lift here. I should have lost lift, but... Three row, three column stall win. It's probably coming sooner than than we think. Uh. 
and <laughs> and and my team can't do anything. Egren can't move, can't attack. Gatekeeper can't move, can't attack. Nurgle also stuck. I got T-boned. Yes, indeed. Th this was so good. I was like baffled. I, I was speechless at how good this play was. I was even after I saw this replay, I was like, should I should I like remove this so that Felix can run around? But if I remove this, if I remove this, it gives people like an extra avenue to to kill Felix. And usually he's like one of the last units to to get taken out here. But holy crap, I I I I, I was speechless. Gulveig, great partner for Felix. Shreyna, also a great partner for Felix. The the units that just have like a gajillion uh, action economy. Really, really good. My units are like, let me play the game. <laughs> Shin, please, let me play the game. But yeah, I got, I got super, super destroyed in this, uh... And this one replay. Let's give it our all. <laughs> yeah. Gatekeeper. <laughs> no, no, no one got to play on on defense. Two mythic cheddar. Yeah, I, I'm surprised because I always thought Shin was a 220. Like, I thought he had like plus 30 mythics. So I was kind of surprised to see that he. He only brought. Uh, like, between, between Plume, Plume had three merges, and Ratatosca didn't even have any merges. So. Surprised to see. Alt account maybe. I I think may, I don't want to I don't I don't want to assume too much, but maybe he he just has a team. Maybe his plus thirty mythic teams can't beat it, and then he has this one. He has just just one backup team that that sends you a message that yeah I can I can I can beat it. But I need to use my my lower mythic merge team or something. Well, like I said, I, I could have sworn he was like a plus thirty, plus thirty 
plus 30 mythic player. Max mythic merges. But yeah, I, I like I said, I should have lost uh, some lift here. Um, thank you, Shen, for for sparing me. But that was a very nice play. I I would never never thought to do something as as creative as as him. He could totally have done this with like three mythics, probably. That was like a really nice way to box in my team. Um, I may, I may move this, maybe? If I move it, I don't know where I would move it to. Like, I would maybe move it down here, so that Felix can at least run out. But, like I said, if I, if I do that, then... Someone can easily set up for, like, a turn to snipe on Felix. And I don't want that. But yeah, very, very nice play. Very, very nice play. Plume Naga. Reagan. Not the aided Reagan. Gatekeeper. Bernie and Felix. I think someone also forgot about the <laughs> the extra move. Such a cheap way to <laughs> to win. Your your opponent just forgot. They they forgot that Egren gives extra move and and it's over. Sorry. You think this is a game? Where's my weapon? Bag, Nurgle, Plume, Aethrenir, Felix, and Altina. Such foolishness. No offense on my opponent's side here. Hey, how's it going, Dubox? People still fill the bottom row of buildings in 2024. Why must I, lose? I think it makes sense if you're running like a double save. Go. Healing Tower does like really good work I knew it. for like a double save team. Bolt Towers, very nice. Not so sure about the uh, the other buildings, though. You think this is a game? No, but how? <laughs> I I I cleared their entire line in one team or one turn. Pivot on the Embla with the Nectar. Let's her run all the way over here to snipe someone. Maybe we shouldn't be expecting the average player to know how that's bad. That's true. They're like pretty invested too. 10, 10, 12, and 4.
It's a bit of a trap, upgrading buildings. They're, they're kind of useless. For the most part, they're pretty useless. My, my catapult's like level 13, I think that's the max right now, right? And even even though I upgrade it all the time, I, I rarely use it because I do like uh, having space at the bottom more. Felix definitely the most cringe unit of this year, by the way, until Ninja Edelgard in two months. You really think Edelgard's gonna get a uh, a a ninja alt? Ninja doesn't really fit her her personality. But then again, do do any of the ninjas make sense? Not really. I guess it's possible. Can't have a filthy blue lines beat her gimmick. I think we still have like a kids banner yet. Or sorry, we haven't had a kids banner yet this year. I I, I see I see her showing up there more likely. It's she's more likely to show up there than than on the ninja banner. If you ask me. Go back, Alphonse, Reagan. Go back again. Ninja Alt with the dagger from Dimitri. I don't know what they can do with ninjas anymore. We've had fast ninjas. We've had the slow and tanky ninjas. Um, I guess ninjas that do troop damage. We don't really have that at the moment. You'd, you'd have to like give them assassin strike or, or whatever. And they ruined the banner themes of Telus garbage. Oh yeah, Sanaki. Sanaki was a thing. I'll cut you down. So cold. Fey math. Sixty-five damage becomes zero. They've definitely gone gone overboard with their their flat damage reduction this year. All is meaningless. Not enough uh, true damage. Not enough. I think we had talked about this last week and how 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 we thought maybe Seer Snare was like a testing ground for for them to bump up the weapon triangle from 20% to 40%. They basically doubled it in Seer Snare, right? Would be would be nice to see them make that like a permanent thing. That would kind of... not really. I was gonna say it would kind of help with, uh, with units damage output, but... But when you can stack so much uh, true DR, it's, it's, I guess it doesn't matter. He likes really over tone compared to other brave units. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we'll we'll eventually get a I wonder if they'll eventually give Felix's gimmick out as like an echo skill or or maybe even maybe maybe even as like a seal. Because the ability to just walk on traps and ignore them is so huge. 
It's why my OG Edelgard has kind of been benched. She can't do that. <laughs> she needs to get double smited onto traps. And even then her damage output is... is... nowhere near as good as this, this butthead. You can outspeed him and double, and he'll still survive because he has flat DR up at all times for no reason. You don't really need the tankiness at all times. Yeah. Unless they also add the true damage and true DR to this weapon TA. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just surprised that they haven't monetize Seer Snare and, and nothing has really come out of it. Like they did with uh, Binding Worlds, all the forms. I believe, some some correct me if I'm wrong, but I think like the early, like the very early days when we first got Hollow Forms, it was not possible, right? To format the units that you build. It was just like a very fun mode, you build, build units, but you couldn't form them. But eventually they let us do it. Okay, so this is the first one, first team where where my opponent brought a forest savior into my embla. Forest save into my embla. Really not the unit I was expecting to attack first here, but I think it makes sense. Because I think Nurgle just dies, and also Egren also dies. So funnily enough, uh, <laughs> Gatekeeper's damage output is so garbage that that the Ice Mirror can't do anything to him. Like his damage doesn't get reduced enough for her, for her to get enough damage to kill back. Kind of funny. Yeah. Nice. 75 into 0. Oh, nice. I knew it. Double smiting also just loses to Brave Robin. Yeah, that too. That too. A waste of my time. So I wasn't able to kill their far save, but there was an opening for, for Felix to get in. Gatekeeper MVP. <laughs> Gatekeeper, Gatekeeper was kind of MP, MVP there because he he went in, stole the status effects before my other units were able to go in. Ooh, Marnie. Marnie, Marnie, Marnie. Fortification and reopening. How, how did you guys build your Marnie? I'm assuming I'm assuming you guys are gonna build Marnie. Um, I, I used her in, in SDS. I, I don't remember if I actually got to use that team, but having built in Miracle, Miracle on a, t a unit as tanky as this is pretty pretty insane. I've some I've seen some people do uh, weaving, weaving fighter on her. Uh, shield fighter makes sense if you if you do the Marth ring, right? Actually, she doesn't have slaying, so maybe not as good. Hey, welcome, Ring Thunder. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Thank you for feeding Sami. By the way, I I totally misread fortifications. I eh? I I thought the stone vein only activates on player phase. Like if you attack someone, you get the veins, but it's actually if the unit has entered combat. So you could technically do this. It, it's more relevant in SD. 
It's it's more relevant in SD because someone can attack into Marnie, and then Marnie doesn't need to attack to lay down the stone veins. She just needs to move. She just needs to act. She can rally, she can move. Uh, she can certainly attack, but she'll get the stone veins, so... This is actually a lot better than I than I thought it was. Clearly I'm not reading my skills. Or I'm missing out on like the important parts, so I can see I can see why you, you put it on uh, your your Edelgard now. Your Edelgards. Reopening also very, very good. Also, also very, very good. The opening is really so that you saved a Marth ring, yeah. I do like reopening. Get true damage, you get some flat DR. And as long as you don't double back, you'll get the most out of it. So. If I had, if I had kept Makai on this team, I think I probably would have lost. Such foolishness. I, knew it. I haven't done the Sims or anything, but I, I, I kind of doubt Makai kills this. Like, sure, she has effective damage, but she also has like a buttload of, of flat DR. Uh, yeah, she has like 15% here, she has like 20% here, so I feel like Makai would, would probably die to Marnie, or at least not, it might, might be like a stalemate if, if anything. I do like how good the four hounds are. They're all like GHBs. And they're all really, really good. Not enough training. Now we're just missing Gris to uh, complete the complete the uh, the four hounds. Not sure what they're gonna do with um, four wins though. I have to also continue to slowly roll them out as uh, GHBs. I guess we'll see. For those of you that that have played Engage, who's your uh, your favorite from the four wins? Oh, the four hounds. Mine is Gregory. I didn't like him at first, but he he grew on me and and that special dialogue that he had with um with Rafal was was so good. Felix, Elamine, Reagan, Plume, Shaz, and Reagan. Hey Tifa! Yeah, Gregory, 100%. I love him. Yeah, I. So he was like the. His personality was like, oh, he's like this chicken. He doesn't want to fight. He just. He's like the complete opposite of, of Gris. But when he needs to, to, to get tough, he, he, he gets. He, 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 he mans up. 
he completely mans up and he's so good. Uh, Mavir, nice. Mavir is also pretty cool. Uh, the only one that's actually playable. Mavir? Gran getting false start by Elamine. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that, too. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so this is the last replay that I've got to share. Felix, Elamine, Reagan, Plume Shaz, and Reagan. So they've got the Shadow Shift Reagan, the, uh, the aided Reagan here. Um, I, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, but I've seen some Japanese players give her Shadow Shift. Uh, it's a lot better than than this. This 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 used to be super OP back before there was any sort of DR Pierce, and units weren't just dropping ten plus flat damage. Or tree damage. So you do a uh, return. Give her a return so that you can like move someone over the mountains and then you can shadow shift to also move someone over the mountains. Very, very uh, neat tech. Very, very neat tech. I almost thought this was that friend too from Twitter. Shadow Shift. Range equal to one. Target moves to the opposite side of the unit. You know, the, the positional skills are like not they're nowhere near as as good as they are in 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 Fey. If you guys have played the mainline games, you'll you know what I mean. They're kind of trash in the mainline game because the maps are so much bigger. Here you you reposition them and they're like there <laughs> in the opponent's face. But uh yeah, I'm curious to see if they'll give us other variants of uh, Shadow Shift. Have like a Smite variant. Smite would be pretty good too. Um, pivot wouldn't make any sense. Swap wouldn't make. I mean, swap swap is okay, not as good as Repo. But I can see like a Smite variant. Drawback. Kind of weird, but I guess we'll see. I'll touch you down. Drawback would be very good for SD. Mm. Yeah, I could, I could see it. You think this is a game? Double drawback. I'll cut you down. Where's my weapon? But Repo, Repo is already so good too. Repo is already so good. Won't you die? If people start getting Shadow Shift on their units, I don't think they would switch it to drawback. If you know what I mean. I feel like they have to drop it soon, otherwise if people if everyone starts getting shadow shift and reposition, they, they wouldn't need drawback. 
or smite or swap. Okay, um, let's do some AR. Um, let me see. So what am I what am I running this week? I am running a Mark team. I actually haven't used this team at all this week. Cause I have a double save. Got the Gatry. I actually upgraded my Gatry. I gave him fortifications, I gave him reopening. I also gave him shield fighters as well, because that was part of the the inherit from Grima. But I'm trying out uh, actually I'm not trying out. I'm still I'm still running like the build that I was running before, which is Mark the Ring, Pavis, Shield Fighter. And then I have uh, Edelgard, who I've actually been able to run a couple times because not everyone's running Brave Robin, and there there are a couple maps where she was able to to just step on the uh, the, the hex traps and not not worry about them. So. Okay, um, let's do some singles, shall we? Let's do some singles and I think I'll stop when I start running into a lot of trouble. Because I don't think these teams are like perfect this week. Um, I, I don't feel like re-blessing my Felix, so... I'm gonna stick with Edelgard until the, the bitter end. Tonkotsu ramen. Ooh. Tonkotsu ramen. What the heck is this? Two corner units. I don't think I'm too worried about them because they don't look like they can come out and play. Uh, uh. Let's see if Edelgard can can do this. I'm actually not sure, cause, 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 cause. There's Hathren here. Hey, welcome, Tanuki. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Or I guess it's afternoon, but hope you're doing well. I I have a feeling this this might not go as well as I'm as I hope. I 
Actually, yeah, I... Ooh. This is, uh, weaving. I, I, f I feel like I'm gonna miss the kill here. Reduces damage from foes, first attack by 80% or 40%. Reduces damage from foes, follow up attack by 40%. Wait, she doesn't have a DR from AoE, so I think it's fine. I always get confused, or not confused, but Mur Mur runs the the magic variant of this cunning canny canny fighter, and I always think this this is where the the AOE DR is, but she actually has it in her weapon, so I think this should be fine. The mission begins. Very well. No, oh, it's not. <laughs> Uh. Good thing this isn't FOMO. FOMO would be a little a bit more sus. I will go. Okay, we do we do kill. We do kill. Okay. I didn't even check, but they're running far safe here. No wings of mercy. Got a plan? Um, hey. I believe I get this. I like the sound of that. Nice. Got a plan? I need Jimbro to do this for me. What? What? Love Jimbro. Always ready. Might as well. Just take him out. You can stop this. <clears throat> yeah, stinky, stinky growing wind. <laughs> it's not strong enough. Growing wind, not good enough. Pressing ever forward. Wow, I actually get this. I am pleasantly surprised. Might have been a different story if they had resonance on Camilla. I must keep going. Your orders? Hey. Well then. Speak. Why not? Whoa. Very well. Just a bit off. Hey, welcome Minako. Forgot how handsome. He is indeed very handsome. Also, a very good unit, too. Very, very good unit.
Did you manage to pick up Fogato from the uh, the banner? Hope you did. Uh, this is Chinese. Well, let's see. Wang Yan? Y Yan? Oh, this team. Okay. I, I can't... <laughs> Uh, huh. So this is like a perfect example where I can't use Edelgard. Because I would need to double smite to get here safely. And even if I do get here safely, there's going to be an ice, there's going to be an ice block. There's an ice block. They treated my poor Pandreo so badly. Yeah, I got my boy Fregato and Tanuki. What do you have to say to the banner? They only gave me Tamara. Nice. Tamara's good. I do like Tamara. Actually, really like using her and in, in engage. The <laughs> the chance. Of proccing a sandstorm and dealing a gajillion damage to your, your opponent. Quite funny. Quite entertaining. Okay, of course this is Celica Ring. I don't understand how Felix works. Is there anything in particular you don't understand about him? He basically gets extra action. For free. If he hits you, you die. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's another... That's another way to... To... Put it... But he has like eight moves. Uh, not quite. He can get up to four. If you run Gale Force, he can get up to like four moves. Can get up to four moves. I think this has to be my double save team. This has to be my double save team. Luckily there's no Embla. I think I'm gonna tank like over here. Probably have Makaya fly over here and then double saves over here. I never read, so maybe that's my problem. For me, reading isn't the problem, it's trying to remember all the little things that they do. That's that's my problem. Like I look at this Robin, I know she does she inflicts Hush Spectrum for free in AR. If she's on like a defense, she'll she'll drop ice veins. But there's there's just so many other things that she does and I, I don't can't remember it all. I can't remember it all. Anyways, I think I wanna bait here because that's one of the few spots where I won't get screwed over by by blazing wind. I would love to use Edelgard, but I can't. Hope you've got a plan. 
Oh, I can't. I don't think I'm in a rush to go in on turn one. It's a good way to do this. Is there is there even a ranged unit that can reliably kill Fjorm? I think Fugato is like the only one right now. But I think he also needs some investments because you need to change out his kit. My, my answer this week, as you saw my defense, was to use Embla and so it can just ignore her. But, 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 but. I'm not sure that I can get everyone where I want them to go. Hey, welcome Omega. Is that Shield Fighter Gatry? I haven't given it I, I haven't updated my uh my my teams yet, but I did give him Shield Fighter. He does have it, but I'm too lazy to unlock the team and, and change change all the seals and and stuff. But I did give it some. I also gave him reopening, I gave him fortification as well. So he has like different options for for builds. Did uh, did you give Shield Fighter to Gatry yet? There's like no debuffs on my opponent's team. I feel like Jimbro should be far enough away. Three. Unless he attacks here for some reason, I don't think. I sh I sh uh, I think I should have moved. Uh... He he might might be in danger. I am the answer. He might be in danger. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, I should have moved him here. Oh, I hope he's okay. Now we pray. I didn't give him anything yet, but I probably should. This sucks because my reopening is on Sheeta, but then... But the shield fighter is obviously on Grima. Yeah, it's, it, was, it was a lot of trouble trying to get all my fodder around. To make it so that I don't... 
lose any value. All right, let's see how this goes. I've got it. Let's see how this goes. I think with reopening, with reopening, I think he has a bit more damage against Felix. Leave my sight. This just becomes like a ting fest almost. I'm not a fan of that. Now we're gonna run into some problems here because can't easily get rid of Felix. You won't get past me. You think the Hush Spectrum doesn't do anything? The Hush Spectrum doesn't do anything. In stride. Okay, this takes up the Myrrh, which is fine. Stay there. Kimbro's in a bit of a tight spot. Freya has the warp bubble, so I can't get units across. What? If I put you here, you're gonna get screwed over by Ygren. Speak. So I think I put you here. Do you have Wings of Mercy? Yes, you do. Oh, 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 oh. Uh... She can AoE Fjorm, but I think I just heal it back up from Breath of Life, so I think she's okay. They will know cold. Unless I can somehow swap this will be fun. I've got it. these two around. There is but one future. Oh, but then I need I need Gatry to protect you probably, so. I I think I think I can tank the AoE. Pretty sure I can. So my Gatcher of Jimbro and Kanto. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Too late. I think this is fine though. I, I kinda don't think she'll do any damage. 
So Felix can't get at anyone here. He can't actually get up my plume. Why not? Even one HP is safe. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. I need to move Plume down because if Felix runs over here. Oh fuck. Oh uh, no no, I'm okay, okay, I'm okay. If Felix ran down here first, he could warp over here to kill Plume. But now if he moves... If he attacks here... I'll attack into Gatry no matter what. So I think we're okay. Yeah, I figured he'd like, jump over the mountain. Felix wants his deer meat. But Gatry's like, nah. Nah, bro. No deer meat for you. You think this is a game? Does anyone run reopening Gatry on on defense or or an offense? I think he has a slightly better time against Felix. I think he at least does some damage back to him, which is good. So that means you eventually whittle him down. I also don't run saves on offense. Kill you. What? Okay, quiz time. I actually don't know the answer. Speak. Why does this kill, but this doesn't kill? Who? 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 I I actually don't know the answer. <laughs> I I just see that it goes to zero here, but not over here. Excel, but you would think that Excel gives you more damage. Tempest. I I think Tempest might be the might be the right answer. So Tempest, if anyone moves before combat, Felix gets the the dull. So I think because I lose that, I lose all my damage. So I think Yin can Yin can probably go out. got it. I trained for this. He trained for this. A tough decision. He trained for this, guys. Tempus, so that's good. Have you done the newest chapter yet? Oh no, I haven't. I haven't. I don't know if you guys are... I guess I could do that. I haven't done the newest chapter yet, you're right. What? What? I should do it. Close your eyes. I am the answer. Do you guys mind if I switch over to do the story chapter? We can come back to some more AR afterwards. But yeah, the the story dropped uh, earlier in the week because uh, that's when the banner came out. 
So... Fable says, sounds good. Yuka says, do AR first. Dude is here. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna switch over to story first, if you guys don't mind. If you guys don't mind. By the way, I, I, I did start upgrading my my Asker trios. I think I think I'm gonna settle with this build for Alphonse. Um I couldn't think of a better C skill to give him. Unless you guys can think of something. I could do like IP maybe. He does have the most HP out of the trios, so he could he could technically pulse them down for free. Without much effort. Don't forget the unit of your- Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, do I have you in my friends list? HCMK? Here's my friend code if you... Or, or if you give me your friend code again. I can quickly find you. Sorry about that, I totally forgot about the unit review. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good, sounds good. I might, uh, I might delete some people. Let's see someone who hasn't played in a week. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fonishi's combat or foe's HP is greater than 75%. Grants Omni plus 4. Inflicts guard. Reduce damage from attacks during combat and from AoE by 30%. It's pierceable, but still nice. Not bad. Wander proves. I know he would. <laughs> I know he would. Set of combat. That's Omni plus 4. Deals damage equal to 15% of units' defense. Including when dealing damage with, when, with a special trigger before combat. And unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. So she's not, like, super fast. Not bad, but... Not the greatest. No quarters. Fortification, reopening. And breath of life. Pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Have you have you considered a I think if I were to build Avil, this is a this is a pretty good build. Um I see 59 defense and I think Lagoo's friend. Uh, she also doesn't have sling in her weapon, right? So she could totally run like a a bonfire, Lagoo's friend. If you give her Marth ring, you could do Ignis, Lagoo's friend. I think because she's she's decently fast, right? Um, oh yeah. So here here's the other thing. Here here's the. The other thing. She has a guaranteed follow-up attack in her weapon. Which means that she's always like unless unless there's NFU and someone's like just faster than her. She only gets 10% from reopening. Lagoo's friend is the famously F2P sparkable skill. Yeah, that's true. That's whoa. How did the bot not get this one? <laughs> How did the bot not get this one? Bye-bye. 
Yeah, but I have to spend all my orbs in sparking her on the weekly revival. Ah, I see, I see. I mean, I'm not saying this is, this is like, bad by any means. But, um... I guess you could work towards the Laguz friend build. But, uh... Not bad by any means. Fortification... More defense... And she can get the veins. So... Still good build. Still good build. Um... Oath... Tech defense ideal. I think, um... I think Clash might be better here. Sorry. Um... Clash, I think, gives you up to eight. Up to eight at uh, attack and defense, right? Depends on, like, if anyone moved or not, but I think you get a little bit more out of, out of it. Hey, welcome back, Yuka. Congrats on your pizza and the 23 chain challenge orbs. Spend it wisely. I think I like, um, I think I like Clash a little bit more for the seal. Ideal is also great because Breath of Life should keep you topped up. Should keep you topped up for Ideal. But I think you get a little bit more stats out of, uh, out of Clash. But... Nice build. Nice build. She got quite the glow up with her refine. And I approve because I guess spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't played Thracia or Genealogy. But this is uh this is Bridget from FE4. Evil alt with hold up plus 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 plus. <laughs> How many pluses do you want? Yes. Uh, thank you for sharing your uh, your evil. I I wish Wander were here to to see it. He would one hundred percent approve of this. Uh, okay. So here's my Alphonse again. I I decided to do Lugu's friend on him because he has like okay defense, as okay as it can be for for an Asker trio. And I couldn't I couldn't think of like a better C skill to give him. I ended up doing Menace because at least you can get some stats, visible stats for Lugu's friend. Let's hit a little bit harder, but this is kind of the build I settled on him for now. Settled with for now. Uh, Sharina, I really don't know what I'm doing with Sharina. I think I'm just gonna turn her into like a full on support unit, probably. Endless Tempest would be pretty good, but very expensive. For for Alphonse, mm. it's okay. It's not bad, but yes, very very expensive. Very, very expensive. When you when you asked, actually, who I hmm? when you asked. Actually, who I did, I was thinking of giving TP Echo to. I was thinking Askers, Dogger, and Garrick. Yeah, I, I mean, I would have to kill Tamara to give them TP. I, I might give it to 
to Anna. So here's here's my updated Anna build. It's not complete yet. It's not complete yet because I, I want to... I might feed her a Tamara. Give her TP. Give her maybe Endless Tempest. And then Distant Bonus Double or something. I don't know. But I, I really wanted to give her Threema. And I finally did. I gave her Threema. I give you my vow as commander that I will keep you safe. Yeah, TP, TP Echo is really good. It's really, really good. But just wait a couple months and then <laughs> it'll it'll actually seem pretty tame because we'll get like an even more an even more busted uh, echo skill. Okay, let me block this team. Another bot. Bye bye. Echo 4.5 skill. It's crazy that we've gotten a tier 4 Echo skill. And then we have Death Blow 2 as an Echo. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Poor Triandra. Triandra. Getting screwed over. Anyways, um, let's jump into the story because I I want to check out. I've done the uh, the lower difficulties, but as usual, I keep the lunatic one for for stream. I don't remember what happened in the last chapter, but I see Bernie. So it was the one where we actually got to fight the Rother. Uh, I guess we did learn some some new things about him. He went to a different world, he was trying to heal some sort of king. And when he did, he was like, oh, you have to stay and be my personal doctor or something. Uh, he refused and then, and then the king started killing his children somehow. Or threatened to kill his children, so maybe we'll learn more about him this time. Tree Man did evil things, yeah. Where is Tree Man? I'll do all I can. Chapter 11, 1. Sisters meet again. We need to get back to Haythrun before the poison fully circulates within our bodies. I will complete the mission given to me by father. We are family. It is my duty to obey. <laughs> Resvalgar, listen to me. Ratatoskr, I'm sorry. As one of the quieting hands, I must do as asked. One of us must die, and so this will be the last time we speak. Those are father's orders. Resvalgar! I am the blade of the quieting hands. For my father, for my family. I will perform my duty. Hope Tree Man is not a defense mythic. Oh, he's 100% gonna be a defense mythic. Can Alphonse tanker now? I don't think so, but we can try. We can certainly try. Oh, are you saying he's not gonna get- <laughs> Are you saying he's gonna get like the... The... The Bruno treatment? The... Who else got screwed? Fafnir also got screwed? He did get a, an alt at least. Did get an alt. Wait, don't I have... Uh, 
He must have had sweep or something because I didn't retaliate there. Does that answer your question? <laughs> I, I might I might be able to live. Where was that? She doesn't have a CD plus one, right? Okay, she does. She I'll does. do all I can. And you remember Norther, whatever his name was, the goat uncle, yeah. Goat uncle. Let's see if I can live if I get max distance here. Because then I get clash. Yo. <laughs> I live? I kill? Garact. <laughs> he did it. He did it. Keep dark comfy, no. I can still fight, father. Oh no, Ratatoskr. What happened? Th there's too much to tell. The rather poison dust. Oh, that's not good. We were hoping to make use of your nectar to cure us like it was able. Uh, like it was able to cure Kieran. Oh shoot, that was uh, that was my name. <laughs> I forgot I haven't changed my name back yet. We were hoping to make use of your nectar to cure us, like it was able to cure the summoner. Of course, or sorry, of course, to have the opportunity opportunity to use my gift is the blessing I welcome. Kieran, who's that? How are you? Feeling any better? Yes, thank you. The stiffness is already seeping out of my limbs. It seems to be working. Looks like we're gonna looks like we're gonna be alright. I'm glad to hear that, though the effect may only be temporary. Before it wears off, you'll have to find a way to neutralize father's poison completely. Understood. By the way, where did Aethrenir go? He went that way. He said he was going back to the root. That's all he told me. Interesting. So, I do remember that Aethrenir seems to know something about Larother and and he just doesn't want to tell us. Will we will we find out? In today's episode Wait, just, of just... Fire Emblem Heroes, my wolf partner was given to me by my princess. That's nice. Oh yeah, saw music. Love it. Okay, so this is kind of tricky because I don't think there's a good way, an easy way to dodge the repo. Which I think there is. At the root is his gym, obviously, yeah. <laughs> he went back to train. Clearly. 
training's the only way he can remain oblivious to why his my father is the way he is. I think this is like a pretty good build for Alphonse. Yes. Makes him a lot more tanky. Would like a little bit more stat on him though. As you will. Let me through. Yeah. Got through. <laughs> no, we're not gonna give him flowers. We're not gonna give him AIDS essence. We're not doing that. <laughs> Onward. Eleven three, affable prince. How are things progressing, Larother? Have you found the means to extend my life yet? You had better hurry. You only have one child remaining. This- okay, so... So something doesn't make sense here. All his children are still alive. So how- how is the king actually threatening him? And he's in a jail cell, but he can- he can just... Not teleport, but he can he can just get out of the jail cell, right? No questions. You had better hurry. You only have one child remaining. Stop this. Please, just stop. Please, forgive my failing. I've told you everything I know, given you access to every one of my techniques. There is no stone left for me to turn. I haven't the power to give you the eternal life you demand. If I could, I would have given it to you long ago, while my children yet lived. Yet still, you persist. Understand me, Larother. No matter how you grieve and wail, I will not yield. I do not care. You and your precious children, you mean nothing to me. We should have just- he just- should have just let him die, man. <laughs> this- this king. This asshole. Grant me immortality, or your last remaining child dies. Your majesty, I- You were thinking it would have- you would have- uh, You were thinking it would have been better to have let me die, aren't you, healing hand? If you had not come, your children would still be alive. You would be living together in peace. Alas, it is the duty of the healing hands to treat any who suffer, isn't that right? You've brought this on yourself, remember that. You have only yourself to blame, to despise. Apologize to your children for getting them all killed. Your Majesty. I will now count to three. What? 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 <laughs> Is that Jimbro? What? When I reach the number three, you will remove your own eyes from their sockets. One. Two. Impotent threat. Threats. What could possibly make me do that? You are a healing hand to do harm against your, uh, uh, to do harm goes against your oaths. I am no longer a healing hand. You made sure of that. Three. <laughs> I, I thought for a second they would, they would, they would show us. You know how they gave us like, uh, a CGI of the characters. Might have been too graphic, I guess, for for heroes. 
My eyes. Bring me my child. Do it, or you die. Impossible. You had better hurry. You only have one life remaining. It can't. It can't be done. Explain. Your children were never taken captive to begin with. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so Mr. Mr. Tree Man was just freaking gullible. He just believed everything the king said. Wait for it. They're already dead. All of them. Wait, what? <laughs> they were never taken to begin with. They're all dead. All of them. Your death will be extremely unpleasant. I will see to that. When that task is complete, however, what will I do then? How will I go on? I'm confused. I'm confused. So he he just told him that he tricked him. He was like, "Oh, I'm going to kill your kids if you don't give me immortality." And then now it's revealed that he never took his kids cuz they're all dead. What? <laughs> Where where's where's uh where's Jimbro? What? I leave the castle to travel all the time, but it never quite but never quite as far as this. Okay, this is gonna be interesting to see if kinda doubt Anna can kill. Oh, I think I'm going to take this while I can. Obviously, Tree Man got scammed. It's now calling everything... Scam. A self-defense mechanism. Yeah, where is Tree Man, actually? This is such a relevant chapter for him. <laughs> very, very relevant chapter. Need to take out Fogato. Absolutely need to take him out. Yes. We need more answers. Let's go. I certainly need more answers. I would say phase story is like all that bad. My apologies. Definitely has a lot of like lulls in it. Or periods where it's not good and then it has like these these moments where Alphonse like, oh, I killed my dad. Where it goes pretty hard. I'll do all I can. Desert Warrior. My country, the Queendom of Sulm has held on to Emblem Ike's ring for generations. Okay, this again. I am gonna eat in. My turn. I'll do all I can. Get rid of you while I can. I guess the, the lulls are like these chapters where there's really not much story going on. It's. Oh, new character says a line. And that's it. 
That's it. Not very meaty. Yes. Doesn't add much to the store. Oh god. This is gonna be a problem if we can't take up this mirror. I hope I have something to kill her. As you will. Yes. Onward. You got the Santa. You got this. Onward to victory. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I'm excited to try out Tamara. I used I I I think I only play like one game with Tamara in SD. And I thought she was pretty good. As like a frontliner slash um you're safe. In light season. I yeah, I could see her being good there as well. Uh, game. 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 Okay, there we go. <laughs> true family. In this way, in this way, brother always trains over the. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! You weren't joking. He did go back to his gym. <laughs> this way, this way, brother always trains over here. Ratatosker, watch out! Sister? Stop calling me that, Ratatosker. I'll lose my edge. Rest Falger. I will obey father. Duty the family comes first. No, Rest Falger. Brother. Do not try to stop me if you insist on disobeying father, even if we are family. I'm sorry. If you insist on disobeying father, even if we are family. Restfolger, the Rother is not your family. What? <laughs> she was she was doing her best impression of uh, of Jimbro. What? He he's not? What are you saying? Do not think this wild claim will stay in my hand. Will stay in my hand. It is not only you, me, Ratatosker, all of us, we're not his children. We're not? He plans to get his family back. Who is this family? Restfogger, do you know? I learned by accident. It was easier not to know. Larada lost his children. A tyrant king. Had all had them all killed, but I thought he didn't. So maybe he, he only learned like part of it. If they were killed, how am I here? How am I here now, still drawing breath? His children are dead. What? Are you talking about? <laughs> what? Are you talking about? Who are we then, if not his children? The rather trans uh, transplants seeds of one heart into the hearts of others. The rather transplants seeds of one heart into the hearts of others. He planted a sorry. He planted a seed from his own heart into Queen Henriette. He planted a seed from his own heart into Queen Henriette. And he planted the heart seeds 
of his dead children into us. Oh, that's totally not creepy. N no. We are fakes. We were tricked into believing we're his children. Th that can't be true. We are shells, hollowed out and made to pretend. I can't. I refuse to believe it. We're a family. Father raised us, and we're happy together. He taught us how to heal. I have memories of all of it. Those memories are real. I remember it too, but those are not our memories. They were given to us. They're not moments we lived. The moments... They are moments of the dead. No. There's more. Larother gave each fake child an order. After your mission is complete, take your own life. And so the healing hands became the quieting hands. We are not the first of his fake children. Care to guess how many there have been? Hundreds? Lies. All lies. We're no different than those other children. We've been given their memories, and when we are of no use, we will be discarded. Our time will come soon enough. Others will follow after us, and the cycle will repeat. Lies. Stop lying. Yeah, stop lying. <laughs> stop lying. Okay, I think this is a new song in the game. I saw Zanuck, who uploads all of the the voice lines and all of like the new soundtracks onto YouTube. He uploaded this theme. So I think it's new. <clears throat> For those who followed the story, what happened to Nidhogger? Um, I don't know, she got alcohol poisoning and died five chapters ago? I don't think she died, right? I know we fought her, but I don't think we killed her. I don't have the best memory, but I don't think she's dead. Yeah. Could be wrong. Yeah, she just hasn't reappeared yet. I didn't- yeah, like I said, I didn't- I don't think killed her yet. I didn't think we killed her yet. I'll do all I can. Okay, all of a sudden Marnie shows up yes. and this is gonna be a problem. This is going to be a problem. Yeah! I think this should be safe. Although, I also want... My turn. Shall we? I, I hope I don't get screwed over by... Yeah, okay. So... <laughs> See, if I had updated Shreina's kit, I think she might have been okay. Shreina. Let's go. Where was that? I was totally afraid of that repo. Marnie feels so BS because Zephia and Mavir didn't get shit from Emblem Rings compared to Marnie's innate holdout. Let's go. I agree, it's kind of weird that they gave her... They gave her holdout. Yes. 
kind of like a hold out. Oh, God. Holy shit. <laughs> what? That was pretty sad, Alphonse. Okay. Just straight up killed I'll Alphonse learn. too. I'll do all I can. No effort. Killed Alphonse. I, I can't not kill Fogato. Because I think Fogato 100% yes. kills Ratatosker. I could see them giving warp. If they're gonna give holdout to Marnie, I could see them giving warp to Gris. It'd be pretty neat, actually. Yes. Shall we? Pretty neat if they gave. This is gonna require a bit more thinking. Let me through. At least we get that kill easily. Mm. If we're gonna talk about stuff they could have given to to the four hounds, uh, Mavir used Makaya's ring, and they haven't. I don't think they can really give him that AoE heal thing, right? They could have given him like maybe Breath of Life to, to emulate it. Um, who's the uh, Zephia? Zephia, Zephia, Zephia. I think she often used Sigurd's ring. So I think they could have given her maybe the, like the plus one move. Similar to Ivy. But they already gave that gimmick to Ivy, so I don't know how they, yeah. they could have done that differently. I'll do all I can. Yes. My turn. Zephia Sigurd. Yeah. Please kill. Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty close. Shall we? Let's go. Onward. Yes. If they do Sigurd, I wonder if it's what I predicted, though. Yes. What uh, are you predicting for Sigurd? Plus one move is kind of like a given. Yes. Um. Immunity to gravity would be a nice thing to tack on. Someone was saying a way to dodge Kanto control would be pretty neat. Where was that? I could, I could, I could, I actually really like that idea. I forget who suggested it earlier. You will. I'll do 
Immunity to Kanto control would be pretty nutty. Okay, Alphonse, you have one job. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh. Said one job. <laughs> Okay, I guess I guess Squirrel Girl just has to do everything. I'm low effect. One extra move. Weapon will be Clash sla slash Excel. Headlong Rush. Overdrive will be AOE, but lunge lunges if, if succeeds. Can't to like twelve step. Headlong Rush equal Yuri. Harder. You could deal X damage based uh, X damage on foe in cardinal direction. Do hello might ignore gravity, but I was wondering on stall. Mm -hmm. I refuse to believe it. Father was he was always so kind. He made us happy. Sister no, listen to me. I don't want you to die. Ah, Ratatosker, my dear little sister. SOV music? What's SOV? Never heard of it. Timmy, you were family. Yes, you're my family too, so stop. So please, let's stop this. Ratatosker. You. You win. Yes, thank you, Hressfogger. Oh, what a shame. You. Father, forgive me. You've disobeyed me, Hressfogger, which can only mean you have forgotten the importance of family. In light of that, I no longer have any use for you. <laughs> Just like that? Really? Hressfogger! Sister! If he could do that to Hressfogger, he could have done that to Ratatosker from the beginning. This is like another... what? Moment? Hressfogger! Sister! The rather, what have you done? Nothing. You must understand that this is who she really is, underneath it all. I only removed the seed I planted in her heart and returned her to her natural state. She bears a wound so deep she is shattered inside. She wishes only for death, poor thing. Sister, if you can hear me, please answer me. She can't hear you. She neither hears nor sees nor speaks. She only stares now and waits for the end. Pitiful, isn't she? Will you put her out of her misery? Larother? I will return. And I will keep returning until you've done what I've asked of you, Kira, uh, Summoner. So, so it's true, brother? We are, we were, we were a family, weren't we? All those memories we share, are they really just lies? Yes. Then, who are we? The gravely injured, the near dead, the broken. We were beyond saving, bodies with no minds. Only the seeds support our lives now. The rather healed our bodies, and granted us the power. Uh, granted us the powers of Yggdrasil. Then he planted the seeds of his children's heart into ours. 
I didn't want to tell you. It's easier to live without knowing. It wouldn't have it would have been better. We're all his puppets playing out our parts. The Rada doesn't care about us. He only wants his true family. It would be easier if we never knew. Wait, that's it? Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Oh. <laughs> Just, just when it was getting good, we get cliffhanged. Damn it, game. I guess we wait. We wait, we wait. There is one thing that, um, I believe Aethrenir said. He said he planted the seed in Queen Henriette. Right? And it was never brought up again, so... So does that even make sense? In the... in the trailer for book... Book 8? We did see that moment where... Where we see like the... like a wanted poster for, for Henriette. Was that when he was planning to plant his seeds? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't predict what Aya's will. The, <laughs> the story writers for, for Faye are, are gonna do here. Quite the, quite the mystery. Does this mean she's pregnant? I mean, what? <laughs> what? I don't- I don't think she's pregnant, right? Planting seeds means that... Wait, did, did someone die? No one died yet, right? So... Who's... Who's, uh, which of his children did he plant into? into Queen Henriette. Squirrel still here, deers, deer, goat. I guess now Hressvogger is dead, but he I think he already planted the seed long ago, so I don't think it's Hressvogger's seed. And I I don't think Nidhogger is dead yet. I think IS was like kind of hoping that you'd quickly read through it and you forget about it. But we have a mystery on our hands. Oh, was this was this when 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 she was poisoned? She was poisoned, right? A couple chapters ago. That was probably when it happened. When he planted the seed. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Plot twist, it's Bruno. <laughs> it's been Bruno all along. All along. Okay. Um, I'm pretty happy with Alphonse's new build. A bit, a bit more can be optimized with his C, I think. But I don't know what to give him for his C. What I could give him for his C skill. Breath of Life would be good, but I, I plan to give Breath of Life to Sharina and turn her into like a full-on support, support build, because her stat line is just. Really garbage. Can't do anything about it. Um, but for Alphonse, 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 Alphonse. What can we do? Menace is like not that bad because it creates a pretty big stat swing. You get visible. They get debuffed. That helps with Lagoo's friend. So. 
I'm actually thinking Menace might might actually be might be best. IP doesn't do anything for himself, really. Doesn't really do anything. So I'm a little hesitant to do IP. Threaten speed. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's give him threaten speed three. Waves, I don't see it being any good on him. He doesn't need the tempo, so yeah, let's not do that. Stall play? No. I think Favel suggested Endless Tempest earlier, but very expensive and and could be good. But I do like Menace. I do I do like Menace. So I'm gonna stick with Menace for for now. And again, we're not gonna give him any flowers. We let's let's just take a look. Bam. <laughs> Bam. Seven attack. Seven HP. Basically seven across the board. This actually looks pretty nice. This looks pretty nice. If only when we if only when we recruit Larather he prints like flowers like crazy. I I I can't do this. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> when I only use him for like the story mode, it, it doesn't make sense. So I'm sorry, Alphonse. Does Alphonse even have any super boons? I mean, if I were to do it, I'd, I'd give him, make him plus, plus defense, and then ascend HP. To summon him twice and can play merged ordeals for more flowers. Yeah, but that's not gonna make up, that's not gonna make up uh, 3,000, close to 4k, I, 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 that's, that's not a good deal. Not a good deal. So I think I think Alphonse. I, I'm gonna say he's done for now. Guess Alphonse is super boon. Speed. Res. It's probably gonna be something funny because because Is is like that. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it is speed. Oh my goodness, I was right. I was right. Speed. No super banes, but he does have a super boon in speed. That's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. He gets his muscles from his speed. Okay, um, I could do some more Aether Raids, uh, or do you guys want to see Summoner Duels? I think it's going to be one or the other because it's getting pretty, pretty late, so I might, I might just do one. The Super Boons for Shireen and Anna is a clear favorite. I mean, did you see... Did you did you did you did you remember the the Alphonse moment? There there haven't been any like good moments for Shreyna and Anna. Anna's just the greedy greedy little gremlin. That's in every game. 
Shreyna married, uh, <laughs> Shreyna married, uh, Veronica, and that's it. And then she also died, quote-unquote, died in, in, in the, uh, the Hell book. Shreyna slash Peony was cute. I, I guess. Uh, let's do some more Aether Raids. I'll do, uh, maybe, like, two more singles. And I might wrap it up there. I'll post some replays into, um, the replays into Discord if anyone wants to check it out. But let's do some Aether Raids. Some more Aether Raids. Tosama. 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 I feel like I saw this person's name before. Far safe. Far safe, though. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta watch out for this. Gotta watch out for this. Because there's a Salica ring on this. So if I don't trap them properly, then I'm gonna get bonked. I still have nightmares about that Laguz friend for Evil. Kind of. I think if my build was different, I think I could have survived it. At the time, I think I was still running, like, Marth Ring. Marth Ring, no quarters. But, um... I did change... I did change it to to Ike Ring and, and Special Spiral to get my special charged up again. But she didn't hit like really really hard so maybe it maybe that outcome would have been the same but kind of. Kind of still have nightmare about that. Nightmares about that. I need to... I need to be very, very careful with my placement. Although, I have... I have... I have Sather, so I could technically... Which way? Lock her down, if anything. Why not? The mission begins. I will go. Yeah, I think we're gonna go, we're gonna try to lock her down. Or we could even kill her. Without a doubt. Well then. Um, that was the real gravity trap, so... Very well. I 
like the sound of that. Garrett's still putting in work. <clears throat> Is your Adel still seven flowers? No. I actually bumped her up to 22. So with this, I don't even need to summon a support her every every Astra season. Yeah, I, I basically said, okay, screw the summoner support. So I don't I don't uh I think I think you actually get more attack this way. Like you'll have to do the, the math yourself, but I I, I remember doing the math and she gets a bit more attack this way, because uh, 7 to 22 flowers? 7 to, 7 to 22. I think that's like 3 attack, versus 2 from Summoner Support. Also, she's like insanely, insanely fast too. Insanely, insanely fast. I would hold off in, on upgrading your, your Edelgard, TBH. I'm only able to use her on these like maps where... Speak. Where they haven't teched in the new stuff. Pure endurance. Otherwise I'd probably just like double save. I think her time is like almost up. If you ask me. Maybe maybe not. She she might be like a skill away from being good again. They she she needs like the ability to walk on traps like Felix to be good again. What? Well then. Hey. Depends if I want to do Weddle for Arena because that's a score bump. Minus Vice Veins didn't exist. I think she's fairly still very fairly viable, even if most Mostly just a Ors Felix. Yeah, yeah. If 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 Ice Veins didn't exist, I think I mostly wouldn't have any problems with using Edelgard. Mostly, but then Hathrun is a thing, right? Felix has like a much better time against Hathrun than than Edelgard. Edelgard just doesn't have enough damage. Hathorn's like her... her... Kryptonite. It just makes everything survive her... that much easier. I was... I remember I was like trying to spend so much time Trying to figure out what I can do to make her, make her good, but there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do with with this. Like I could give her TP Echo. That would mean I can run like the Salica Ring on her. But then she loses like six, six attack here. Oh, sorry, four. That might actually be that might actually be worth it. Fatal smoke five. Yeah. 
I also hate that K5 is running Shield Fighter Mur. Imagine if we had something better than DB2. TP Echo might uh, might be pretty good for Edelgard. It doesn't solve her damage problem, but it would let me run Celica Ring on her. So she she would have like a different. Actually, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I value this experience. In my future, a massive battle awaits. No. TP Echo... TP Echo wouldn't be good, because I'd, I'd only be able to fire off one. Growing win. Right? This would be at three charge. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't work with AoEs. So in like the perfect scenario, she AoEs. She'll be back up to three charge, attack, kill something, with pledge, and be down to one. So, yeah. Unless you're Felix and use Marth. Celica, Celica ring is is definitely the best ring for for Felix. the The option to to just fly in without any help is is so good. I wouldn't I wouldn't try this uh, <laughs> this Marth ring build. My strength is due in part to the power of crests. It kind of sucks. I was hoping I was hoping Assassin Strike would have helped me with with her damage problem, but this is like dependent on your foes defense and 20% doesn't really cut it. Hukuta. Hukuta. Far safe. This looks okay. I think I can Edelgard this. No, I can't. Stupid ice blocks. I almost, I'm, <laughs> I almost uh, jibated myself. I almost jibated myself there. Not only that, Haythrun is on the map as well, so... Yeah. It would be nice if they, if they went back to update the AoE skills now. And drop veins. So you AoE and then you... The, the, the range that you AoE becomes like fire tiles. That'd be pretty neat. But then they'd have to think of something for... They'd have to think of something for... For Blazing Wind... Blazing Thunder... And so on. Growing Light Bane. Yeah, this looks like a Fiorm map because I... Can't deal with Felix otherwise. This is gonna be kind of annoying because I'm not gonna be able to kill Nurgle. And Nurgle will steal stuff.
I can technically... I could technically run Edelgard. But I would have to trap Gamble. I'd have to trap Gamble. Actually, no, I don't. I don't. I don't need to trap Gamble. Oh, I, I can I can run Adel. No, I can't. Fuck. <laughs> I I almost forgot this guy exists. I was going to use Egren to break this, and then warp Edelgard over here. That would have been a very quick ladder. Very, very quick ladder. It is. Gatekeeper and Robin. Don't you run something like that as well? On your team, Favels? I know your team is like super, super tucked away in that mountain map. Not easy to feel like sits. Funny thing is you could bring Elamine team for Robins. Yeah, but then you'd have to bring Elamine. You'd have to bring Elamine and I, I can't. Okay. I was I was, I, I almost uh I almost committed to Edelgard. I mean, if I if I can guarantee, if I can get Edelgard to engage on Felix, I think I can do this. Although there is a Salka ring here as well, so maybe not. Anyways, I think we're Speak. We're gonna have to double save this. If I had Robin, I'd be running her too, though. So I'm using male Robin for Rally Spectrum. Fair enough. Got some nice engage music. I'm a little afraid of uh, Nurgle because he. I don't think my Fiorm kills that. Fiorm doesn't kill that. Damage reflection should go crazy though, but he's green and he's like super thick. So I have doubts that I can kill. A tough decision. This will be fun. What do we do? There is but one future. Close your eyes.
The Ting Fest has returned. Wait, they had they had Celica on Nurgle. It's kind of rare, <laughs> kind of rare to not see people slap it on Felix. I'd be cons more concerned about Essence Dream than Nurgle. I don't- what? I'm not sure why you would give Nurgle TP Echo. I don't think he needs it, right? Won't you die? Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. My my mental maths are is clearly not uh, not uh, <laughs> not to be trusted. Uh, is this gonna be a problem? Should break this. Oh, I'll do it. I'll probably break it next turn. I don't wanna. It's kind of troublesome to break. Or infantry and armor, they are so mistreated. A tough decision. Yes. No more warping on the enemy team, so. It's gonna be a problem. I if they keep repoing Felix, I'm not gonna be able to kill him. You think this is a game? You know, with reopening. He'd be taking a lot more damage. Like, he probably would have been dead by now. It really depends if, like, the shield fighter... If I get more out of shield fighter or if I can... Like, I don't think I can get as much DR with reopening as with shield fighter. But if Felix isn't... Is not gonna kill me in, in a few combats? I'll heal it all back up with in stride. Breath of Life. There is but one future. I don't know if what I said made any sense at all, but close your eyes. I'll pretend it does. I am it the did. Answer. A 
tough decision. I need a better position here. Thing is, there's no Salka Ring on Felix, so he's not going to be able to work out. They will know cold. Yes. He's not gonna be able to warp past me, which is all that I care about. This will be fun. There is but one future. Oh, I'll do it. I am the answer. I've got it. What? What? Still got the double save, got the near save, Felix can't warp past me. Turn three. No one's gonna get hit by this, so we're good. Is that air orders on Plume? No. This is flyer guidance. I don't know why I gave this to her, cause um... I guess maybe for Micaiah. So that Makai can can warp around, warp to Plumeria if she's like close enough. She has like the Omni Guidance effect, but she herself doesn't have good mobility. Aerobatics lets her move around deer, armors, and infantry, but not uh, not flyers. I'll never not be mad about a special called Gust not being available to flyers. It just means they'll get something even better later with Delbox. As with any like Fae character unit, the longer it takes them to get into Fae, the the better they become. Unless you're a uh, demote, then then you get screwed. Okay, I've already gotten all the pots, which means I just need to kill them now. Yeah. Difference in how they treated Pandrea or Marnie is crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We need to take out Will do. Felix, which we can. Huh? Same with Kagetsu. I I I didn't use Kagetsu myself in my playthrough. I I used the uh, the resident potato eater. The resident mix water with milk drinker. <laughs> I think I would have had a much better time though if I did use Kagetsu. He just had like better stats than than Lapis, but Lapis is cute, so I, I had to use Lapis. Had to use her. Yes. Hope you've got a plan. Makes you wonder if he's the best unit in the game. Nah. Although Is is uh, doing a very good job at trying to convince us that Ike is the the main the main Effie. I am the answer. The main Effie Lord. What do we do? I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to kill. A tough decision. I need to 
I think I need to break this. Speak. They will know cold. I need to break that healing tower. This is in stride. This is quite annoying. Oh. This is fine if it's fake. This is fine if it's fake. Will do. A tough decision. Be fun. Will do. Yeah, if I if I was gonna trap gamble, I would have gambled that spot. I have to get stronger. Such such engaging gameplay. Ting ting. Ting. Ting ting. <laughs> Speak. Yo, dear dude, Jimbro. Pure endurance. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't run into this, Yuka. You would not run into something like this. In stride. Close your eyes. I mean, yes. If you just made like a new account and for whatever reason you get queued into this, what? I I would be very. Turned off. Damn. <laughs> How about a new player looking for content and joining stream? That's true. I, I feel like not enough new people tune into into my stream. New players probably don't get much out of watching an old timer or veteran player play this game. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Don't need to point fingers. No need to point fingers and blame people. I I S makes all the decisions here. I'm just playing the game. Uh, let's do one more. Might, might as well. Dark. Man, I wish I had my... <laughs> my, uh... My... Light team. I wish I could... Actually, no, it, w it wouldn't get... I wouldn't do anything here, because... Because that... I'm gonna try something different here. And... I am going to bring out my Marth team. I think Marth should be able to kill you. Should be able to kill this. This will be a bit of a problem, but I shouldn't die to this. 
Are you heading out, Omega? If you are, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a uh, great rest of your your Sunday. Shelly Nurgle won't steal his bonuses. I mean, if I kill him in one shot, if I kill him in one shot, he shouldn't be able to steal it. It, it comes down to if I kill him in one shot, which I th think I should be able to. I, I, I believe. I lost one ladder. Oh, this was so silly. At the beginning of the season, I summoned and supported my Edelgard. So she had 75 HP. So <laughs> I ended up uh, laddering because of that. Got a plan? I, I, I believe Marth. I believe. It's like when I get asked to test maps and every time I have to remind them, you know I don't use the meta stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. I was new last year and found the stream comfy. Thanks, Fables. I don't think you have to enjoy, like I don't think you have to be at like my level to be able to enjoy the stream. Cause lots of people tune into, like I tune into people who play games that I don't even play, it's just, I guess, go out to hang out and just to see how others play the game. You don't have to be F2P to, or like you don't have to, hmm, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say, but maybe you, you, you know what I mean. So quite a few players lose a ladder because of the extra Felix HP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all pretty casual. I think we are a pretty casual community, even though we are playing the game at a high level. If that makes sense. Yeah, welcoming to all skill levels. I mean, I know, I know. Mm. I think that's why I have like the, you know, the, the redemptions, unit reviews and stuff like that. You get my opinion and, and you guys are also free to to share your opinions as well on, on people's units. But yeah, I try to try to be as comfy as possible and, and I don't have any limits on how good you guys are at the game. Anyways, let's see if we live Nurgle here. Let's see if we live Nurgle here. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. You feel like watching someone shouldn't shouldn't be about whether they're on the same level as you. Um, like I watch uh, uh, a streamer who's like recently been tuning to 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 Void. He's a DKC speedrunner, and I don't I don't speedrun anywhere near as good as him, and I don't even speedrun at all. But it's just chill place to hang out, and that's all you really need, really. Okay, um, do you guys, actually, actually, do, do you guys want a prediction really quickly? Let's, let's, let's do a prediction. I, I think I know the answer. Yes, no. Okay, one one minute prediction. Will will Marth survive? 
I think I know the answer, because I just... I just looked at his build. Maybe, maybe I said too much. Maybe I said too much. <laughs> maybe I said too much. I like Portal speedruns. I've never even played the game and it just looks cool. You should play it. I, I played Portal a long time ago. It was a very, very fun game and... I forget the name of the... The, the main villain of the game. At least in the very first game. She had, I liked her voice. The AI voice. It's, it's actually quite even, but I think I survive. Have faith. Yes. Speak. Will do. Got a plan? Oh, I'll do it. Why not? I think I survive. Uh oh. I must prevail. I oh. <laughs> okay, we're still we're still good. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> No, we're not. Won't you die? I can't give up now. Damn it. Damn it. I uh, hmm. Hmm. Yikes. I... yeah. <laughs> Followed by that one unit skill nobody uses because only daggers can use it. Yeah, I... I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Well... I would have lost orbs if I, uh... if I had bettered. Bet 1k, get 1.8. Nice. Nice, nice. Was Fables the only one who, who, who bet yes? There's two people. I can't see who those two people are, but... Hey, at least we killed him. We killed him, but... Uh, <laughs> we, we, we did survive the, the Nurgle. Me. Oh, welcome! Welcome, welcome! Microwave. Hope you're doing well. Congrats on winning the prediction. I did yes because you said he'd tank. If Nurgle attacked first, I would have lived. Cause, cause, uh, cause Fables was right. It wasn't the Lagoo's friend build, so I think I would have killed him. If he attacked first, but uh, Shaz here, Shaz here actually negated my special. Hmm. What the? <laughs> what? Huh? What? What? <laughs> Ready. Yo, <laughs> I I just did that for fun, cause uh, cause I got it. <laughs> just for fun. I'm not even sure about Nurgle with Goat Dr. I think I get it. I think I get it though. I'd have to math it. I'd have to math it, but I think I get it. 
Because he's already full health, so the healing does nothing. He only the only thing he gets is the ten true uh the ten flat DR, and I think I do enough damage to, to hit through that. If he had Lagoo's friend, then it might have been a different story. Ten flat DR from Ner uh, Nectar and then ten maybe even more from, from Lagoo's friend. Wanna wanna test my defense? Um let's do one more first. Let's do one more. Lily. Let's do one more. What the heck? I mean, it works? Barthring Pavis. There's also Nectar as well, so... So I don't think Edelgard will get this. Amelia is definitely easier to kill. I don't know about that, because... There's Nectar. There is Nectar. This looks like a double save. This looks like a double save. I mean, they're running double save, but... I think I need to run my double save as well. I'm talking about me. Okay. Sorry. Easier kill for you. Not refine still save us from the Pavis Aegis, etc. Hmm. I could try. I could. I could try Edelgard, but I think I don't kill. Like, in one combat, I don't kill this. If I can, great. Then I could try... I could try to run her. Would I kill this? I don't think so. 10 flat DR, Pavis procs twice, I think she lives. And what's worse is that she'll have Nur... no, no, no Nurgle yet. I really want to run Edelgard, but I don't think she kills. This also reduces my damage by 7 as well, so... I don't think I'm cutting through this. Assassin Strike does 10... 20% of her defense as true damage, so that's about 6? 7? Seven, 7-ish? So negates the 
flat DR here, but then she still gets 10 here. Twenty percent speed flat, seven from shield fire. Yeah. Yeah, I can't can't run that. Oh, I'll do it. Can't run that. With Haith and support, Fjorm turns 116 damage into zero. That's insane. That is insane. Does Nana bypass DR from specials like Gust? I don't remember Nana's weapon, but I know that it turns off defensive specials. It stops them from proccing. Gust is a uh, is an offensive special. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. But someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Gustier does work versus Nana. Okay, I'm gonna get stuff stolen, so how about we don't put any... Put too many buffs on my units. They will know cold. A tough decision. It's a lot of stats I'm giving. I think I actually want to engage on this side. Because then I can slowly creep up and get the pots. Yorm here, Kai here, and we could even go like over here. It's kind of silly to put the fart, the, the, the armors in front, but if I want to engage on turn one, I think I need to do that. I don't want to give them too many status effects, but hope you've got a plan. In stride. Micaiah doesn't give any status effects, right? Like all of that's coming from from what's her face, Shara. Let's wait a turn. Do we wait a turn? What do we do? We'll do. I don't think these matter for the opponent. 
they will know cold. In stride. I've got it! There is but one future. Close your eyes. Yes. Speak. Does this matter? Shared spoils. Sorry, not shared. Share spoils. Fix Omni minus five on unit during combat. Neutralizes reduced damage by X percent effects. Non special skills. She doesn't have. Can't. Oh, she does. I think it's okay to have deer here. I am the answer. What? How does someone willingly play Faye for four and a half hours? Well. It's a mix of play and also just chatting, I guess. So. Holy shit. It's a lot of damage, goat. Oh, uh oh. Does Goat have tempo in his weapon? Cause he uh He stopped Gatry from charging. Guard, okay. Hey, welcome Eggie. How's it going? We're uh We're doing some Fey math here. Zero becomes 116. Ninety nine becomes six and zero becomes one eighteen. That seems to be the the magic number here. The magic number. Zero becomes one sixteen, one eighteen around there. That's the infantry beast effect. I, I remember Infantry Beasts, they get tempo, like full tempo if they're transformed. I think Goat must have guards somewhere, right? Luckily he wasn't able to fire off a special, otherwise I might have died. I don't see where the guard is. Does he have guard? End of C, okay. Ah, okay, okay, I see it, I see it, thanks. Go well, just making a new light team for next season. Depending on using Brave, Bernie, or that new green bow, Fogato. Fogato, yeah. Um, it depends how you're building your team, I guess. Fogda. <laughs> Fogda. 
I, I don't know if you were if that was a typo or not, but it sounds like you haven't played Engage yet, so it's his canon, new canon name, Fogda. Yeah, I figured figured you didn't play him yet, but I, I read it correctly anyways, because uh, when you when you stream, you kind of have to anticipate typos and read it correctly, but. Just, just let it be known. I wasn't the one who called you out for it, Yuka. Yuka here. Fogda. I like that though. Let's let's call him that from now on. There is but one future. This will be fun. A tough decision. Okay, I think we're in a really awkward spot. I can't kill anything. Yes. That Ignis is gonna screw me over here. He's a little too far away right now, so... I didn't even see if there was a Salica ring. Maybe not. Um, I'll do it. Mm. Why not? We'll do. I think we're okay that Ignis is going to go into the Pavis. I'd attack Hathorn for Breath of Light healing on Mickey. A tough decision. Mm, I suppose... No, I don't think so, because he... She still has, um, Nurgle's thing. Wouldn't Aeth have killed Amelia? Uh, but he was too far away. He couldn't reach. He couldn't reach. He still has Drain Essence, so I, I shouldn't attack here. In stride. Plume Dance. She's too far away though. Still too far away. You can try it next turn. You can try it next turn. Stupid Amelia. You won't pass me. Ah, humans, so lovely. Okay, can we kill anyone? A tough decision. Hope you've got a plan. Will do. There is but one future. Uh I think we try yes. to kill I 
I think this is okay to do. There's no range units and gatries there. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> they will know cold. Okay. I don't need you here anymore, so let's uh What? What? Nice, okay. That's actually really really good. Get them both out of the off the board. Always ready. What? In stride. Grab the pot here. <laughs> I love that animation so much. It's so good. What do we do? All right, stay there, Gatry. Smogness. I, I do have reopening on Gatry. I think I'm gonna have to do some testing to see if um, if it's better than Hardy Fighter. I'm like wholly, like entirely reliant on Makaya and and Dear Dude to to do all the damage here. Speak. All right. Hope you've got a plan. A tough decision. Get out of here. <laughs> nice shield fighter proc. What? What? I've gotten all the pots already, so... So now it's just, uh... Goat Lady you have to take care of. Have us so in stride. Okay. No hesitation. Yeah, I'll do some testing offline. See if I can actually run reopening Gatry. It'd be nice if he, he can actually kill the stuff that attacks into him. Mostly Felix, because everyone's running Felix right now. Mostly just Felix.
I have like a pretty terrible player ID. Usually like two thirds down the list amongst other players of the same rank. I didn't yoink their lift, I did not. Turn a brave tiki with high res support and can nuke Felix sometimes. Keyword sometimes. Keyword sometimes. Sometimes sometimes. Uh, I think I have you on my defense, right? Microwave. Can you remind me what your username is? Or tell me what your lift is, and then I can find you really quickly. I'm gonna look from the... oh, there we go. Felix... Shaz... Robin... Celica. Farsi. I'm actually going to try, um, I am going to try Edelgard for this one. Please use me well. Together we cannot lose. Try it. Your orders? I will go. What are your results of Gale Force Felix on ARD? I mean. I think I prefer Gust. If if I were, if I I mean I have Felix on my defense. I I very much prefer Gust because it helps with his survivability. But with Gale Force, I suppose you can snipe up to like three units on the enemy team. So there's there's that. Not sure it's worth it, but very well. It might be. Whoa. I actually just straight up kill you. Oh, I'll do it. Without a doubt. Well then. I actually feel like uh, the future is in sight. I think I missed the kill on Felix. I will go. I'm gonna just try for 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 science, but Very I think well. I think Edelgard misses the kill on. Oh, maybe not. Sorry, I think Sather. <laughs> Like, if I didn't hit him with AoE, I think I missed the kill. I must keep going. Seven, yeah. I, I think I would've... Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh, Edelgard? I like the sound of that. Are you gonna be okay? I think she's dead. She might be dead. Speak. She's probably dead. She might be dead. Hey, welcome, Mr. Vol. Welcome, welcome.
No. <laughs> ah. I will go. She did. She did close to z zero damage on me. Well then. He acts three times with Shez to follow up, and if he did take damage, Azura comes in, kills or dances Felix or Shez. Yeah, I think she she did less than five, because I... I thought I was actually going to die to Azura, because she had... That's flared, right? She had flared. Edelgard was down to like 18. No, sorry. Uh, flared does seven. Very well. I thought I'd died there, but apparently I survived. And I took less than five. God damn it. You got me. You got me, you got me. I think your problem not not really I mean I I, I, I goofed. I died. I died. But you might consider putting the traps, like, here and here. Microwave. If someone's gonna Felix you, they're gonna try to... They're gonna break the ice blocks, right? One, two, three. You should put, like, the... Like, the real... Gravity here, maybe the real hex over here. Because they would need to break the ice block and then also step on a trap to try to attack you. I'm, I'm mostly cons I'm mostly thinking about Felix's people using Felix against this team. I think my double save probably would have tanked your team fine, but I, I, I wanted to see if my Edelgard can do it. And... I got I got, got by the, the stupid ice blocks. Hey, look who it is! Look who it is. What do you call a small wave? A microwave? Nice. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good, Tree Man. I'll give you that. What the fay? What the fay? Uh, how's it going, Tree Man? How's it going? Time for Flared Sparrow Jimbro. I I suppose I could do that. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, okay, test the team with Bernie, good light team. Bright Embla with Valentine's Leo for gravity is pretty nice. Bright Embla with Valentine's Leo for gravity is pretty nice. Ooh. Someone's using Valentine's Leo on defense. Why does it have to be Bright Embla though with Valentine's? Leo. Oh, for offense, okay. Okay, okay. I was, I was confused. <laughs> Bright, Bright Embla is, is just really good. She is stinking good. Really, really, really good. She was good on defense, for exactly the, the reason you're, you're thinking. The undefended. No to, say no to saves. And, 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 and. Having that on offense is just really, really fun too. Saying no to your, your opponent's saves. Just let's Felix or any of your, your units go to town. Uh, but yeah, pretty good defense. Microwave. Pretty good defense. I almost feel like you should put a 
a movement assist on Shaz. Actually, no. No, you don't need to. Because Felix will move first regardless. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. No, I think it's fine. Maybe just move the uh, the traps over here and here to prevent anyone from getting a, a snipe on your your units. Thank you for the S rank redemption, Tree Man, <coughs> and also thank you for the dueling crest redemption, Mister Bull. We just uh, learned more about your backstory, Tree Man. From the... from chapter 11. Actually, speaking of which, I think we're... how many chapters are we away from the end of the book? It's not a good example. We have two more chapters. Two more chapters, so... In October, book 11, or sorry, book 12. And then, and then uh, the final chapter in November. You should read this one, Tree Man, because uh, it's all about you. This this uh, newest chapter is all about you. Pretty big reveal, but at the same time, it's it's kind of the story is kind of. Goofy. A lot of uh, little plot holes. A lot more questions than answers, but I think it's okay. Okay, so this is Mr. Vol's defense. Defense. Got the gatekeeper. Got the Alphonse. Kinda looks like a double save, because my Edelgard can't do anything. Hope everyone's enjoying their weekends. I am certainly enjoying it. As always, I feel like it's too short. That's what she said, right? <laughs> That's what she said? This looks like a double save. Hey, how's it going, oil leak? I'm putting off the homework that I still have to do. I spent all day studying already. Yesterday. Well, taking breaks is good. Taking breaks is good. But how are you doing? How are you doing? Close your eyes. Speak. 
I think I can even put you here. Let's try that. I'm just at the hospital while my son gets his chemotherapy. Ooh. I hope, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope it the battle is mine. goes well, Mr. Vol. Sorry to hear that. He's taking this whole thing very well. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Um, chemo is just something that, and cancer in general is just something that I hope never, no one ever has to, has to experience. I remember uh, when my mom had to go through that many, many years ago. She always looked miserable, but she she always put on like a she always put on like a uh, brave face for us. But, um, but yeah, I hope it I hope it goes well for you, Mr. Vol. Cancer, cancer just needs to die. Um, 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 um. I feel like uh, Celica might be no. I, I I know why you have Celica on the team. It's to have that threat range. But Shield Fighter's a thing, Fjorm. Fjorm just like tanks her all day. But yeah, Fjorm Fjorm kind of just walls your your range threats. Gatry walls the the Alphonse, but like my other comps, they definitely wouldn't be able to clear it. The ice blocks are too annoying. Even if I had Felix in here, it would have been really tough because you have Gatekeeper on the team. Speak. What do we do? A tough decision. What? What? Pure endurance. Will do. He actually took a hit. Impressed. Color me impressed. Sorry, I missed your message earlier. Going good. I've been lurking here for a bit. Appreciate the lurk. Oil leak. <clears throat> But yeah, this team, the, the, you don't really have anything to deal with Fjorm. And I'm not sure if you've seen too many Fjorms yet this week, Mr. Vol. But your team's like very anti-player phase strats. I don't really see double saves anymore. I think they're, they're making a bit of a comeback in in Astra season. Just because unless you run off season Mila uh not Mila. Uh Embla. Unless people run off season Embla. It's pretty safe to run double saves. 
I guess the other thing is, um... More I don't know if you have Bridal Emblem. That could be a unit you could try to slot in to counter double saves. You do? I feel like she might be like a better unit to slot in instead of Alphonse. In stride. He's annoying, but he also isn't super, super threatening. Let me see. If you had Embla, this would be like either here. This would be like a good spot to put her. But then I was tanking over here, so you'd almost need her like here or here. Embla wouldn't be the the best. I know. Because you can only put her in so many places. If you put her over here, I could try to tank over here. If you put Emblem over here, I could tank over here. So maybe it's like a different map. You need a different map to... To... Decrease like how many places people can, can try to tank. Uh, but definitely I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to do this with my mark team and my Edelgard team can't even <laughs> she wouldn't she wouldn't be even be able to to make it past uh, past your ice blocks so but yeah very good against uh, player phase teams uh, double saves. I think you're you're gonna run into some problems, especially if it's Fiorm or uh, or any other. I guess Shield Fighter. Any anything of Shield Fighter might uh, might be able to tank your your range threats. I feel like um, I guess I'm not sure why Sather's here. Uh, you could swap her out for someone else. I feel like. Uh, Bernie? Bernie can sometimes kill Fjorm if she doesn't run Hardy Bearing. I think Bernie can kill. Do you know? Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm. Hmm. Too bad we didn't get. <laughs> too bad we didn't get to uh, do Embla with Asker. That that would have been perfect. You just have Embla complaining all the time that why am I here with Asker? She would help you with this. I feel like uh, you could probably swap her out for someone else, another duo, and maybe also swap out Alphonse. I also feel like um, you're putting nectar on all your squishies, which is which is okay, but I feel like Alphonse wants it. Anyways, I hope that was an okay test. Yeah. Yeah, just watch out for the, the double saves. Especially in Astro Season, they're, they might be making a bit of a comeback. In light season, you definitely don't want to run double saves because I'm certainly bringing Embla back on my light team. This is my anima team. I have Embla here. And 
my light team. I'm over here. Thank you for the S-Rink Redemption, Tree Man. I am now done with all my coffee today. Okay. Alright, if there's nothing else, I think I'm gonna wrap things up here. Uh, I'm gonna go and do some more trip planning. Um, it's coming up very soon, actually. In a little over a month. I will be in Japan for the very first time. Not, uh, I'm not feeling excited yet, but I think I think I just need to get get through um, get through October, which is like my busy month at work, and then maybe maybe when I'm at the airport and on the plane, that's that's when I'll I'll really get excited. I'll probably post some pictures. I think I've decided. I'm, I'm probably gonna bring my DSLR with me to to Japan. Uh, I'm not gonna carry carry it around with me every day, but if I'm going somewhere that's very pic picturesque, um, I think I'll definitely want to take some nice photos, nicer photos. But uh, I'll definitely share the photos in the Discord. Maybe I'll create a little a a sub sub channel or something so I don't spam you guys with too many pictures but um yeah it's coming up very very soon uh, I got my tickets I don't know if I told you guys this I got my uh, sumo tickets in the mail last week uh, I ordered them off a website it's called uh, buy sumo tickets very creative name I know but uh, it was like a very, a very uh, painless process. Very, very easy to use, in fact. Very, it, it's con contrary to what my uh, my coworker was telling me. He he was like, oh, I had so much trouble getting tickets. You needed to get someone in Japan who lives there to like buy them for you and then mail them to your Airbnb or hotel. And it was like a big process, but. Yeah, it was, it was actually very, very painless for for me. And very excited to 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 do that, to see that. He's gonna take pictures of the yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Anyways, um. I'll uh, I'll share some of the uh, the SDR replay uh, sorry SDS replays in in the Discord if you guys want to check that out. But I am gonna go off and 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 eat and chill for the rest of the day. So. So thank you guys for, for tuning in. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. What's for lunch? Uh, my my aunt, uh, she made Vietnamese spring rolls. Not spring rolls. They're they're not like the fried ones. They're they're the they're just like regular spring rolls. But they're they're very very good. Looking forward to it. Anyways, have a great rest of your weekend, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, next next weekend for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. All right, bye guys.